Ezreal. Did you guys like um, hear about the Diablo 4 memes? Where it's like somebody made a post about how like they are like the target audience and they're like a they're a 40 year old dad and then everyone just started memeing that they were also a 40 year old dad with like a wife and four kids. I didn't see that one. I don't know, it just I don't even know how it originated, but it just turned into this huge meme where like only, the only people who play Diablo 4 are like are like dads with multiple wives and 25 kids. Jesus. And, um, <laughs> what the fuck? It just made me realize that, like, I think League might be like that at some point where, like, we all grew up playing League in, like, high school, right? But that was, like, fucking, like, 10 years ago. And then we're going to be, like, 40 years old and shit. And just we're all going to have multiple wives and a shit ton of kids. And it's just... It's gonna be a hard boomer game, though. Uh huh, uh huh. Especially the multiple wives fart. Looks like Piochek is looking for an early roam under the bottom side of the map. He cleared all top camps. Oh shit! Uh oh. Here comes Piochek. They have to go uh -oh. Huhi. They know what's up. I think they know what's up. Oh my god! Wait. Wait. Who he's dead? He's hard dead. He should be dead. Secured his corpse. Do he play that like a human? I don't think so. He tried to like use, he tried to use Viego as an escape tool, you know, like by e yeah, yeah. him, but he just missed. That's not a good way to start off the Kaisa Ezreal matchup where you're getting outskilled and, you know, you're supposed to win early game. Give Kaisa some free kills. Who would you kills? say outscales here between Ezreal and Kaisa? <laughs> yeah, Ezreal for sure. He has more range. I also, I think Summit playing Fiora here is fucking annoying as fuck for us too, because if he plays like top versus a tank, right, he's obviously going to win 1v1, but I don't think Nocturne is going to be that good at ganking Fiora. It doesn't sound good. It's hard to get the Fiora off, yeah. Like you can like time the the repost with on, on the Fear timing, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, and it just won't fear you. Yeah. Yeah, but then you can like spell shield the repost and just keep chasing her down. Yeah, I don't know about chasing Fiora down. It's kind of tough. Maybe if he's fed though. I mean, Nocturne gets a shit ton of move speed during his Q. So I'm surprised Summit wanted to opt into this matchup after seeing what Licorice did to Rich. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Summit is playing the matchup differently though. Like he hasn't taken nearly as many turret shots. <laughs> Is that like a meme or something that he takes turret shots a lot? That's how he died, Rich. He got pushed into turret and then took like two turret shots at level four and then flashed and died without licorice needing to flash. Oh? Wow. Wait. But I think someone's dead. Any no? Wait. No, maybe he's not dead. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Reposting the star walk like that, it looked weird. Yeah. It didn't even seem like it was that beneficial to do. What's your guys' game time at? 18. Uh, it's jumping around. Yeah, it's 19, so 21, cringe. 22, 24. <laughs> okay, Six. Okay. What the fuck is going on with the timer? <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, you guys are sitting here acting like you can just make a working timer. It's pretty rough a, nowadays. Yeah, like, what do you know about programming and coding and running production on a multi-billion dollar esports asset? You guys act like it's easy to just make a timer that counts up one second at a time. Timers used to skip by, like, five seconds at a time. This one only does, like, a couple seconds at a time, so this is way better than most games. Yep, yep. No, no, no. I mean, I'm just imagining that, like, someone out there at Riot is like, you know, there's a shit ton of people working the company like, man, let's figure out, like, why we can't do the timer. Like, why the, why is the timer fuck? Like, why can't fix it? And they look into it like, oh. Because, like, the game was built on big rigs over the road racing or something. It's <laughs> completely random engine. Oh! oh. Here comes no the chase out videos. Here it comes! Damage, damage, There's damage. no way they can catch a Fiora, guys. There's no way. Wait, he just He's walked totally away. totally just going to run up. What? He walked away, Videos. <laughs> Videos, how did Fiora escape that gank? He was going to get chased down. How the fuck did he do it, bro? <laughs> what? 
into the Kasaki. That is crazy. But wait, it wasn't even close. I, I, think, I, I think you want to play Nocturne when you're so when you're like top matchup or your mid matchup is like super spicy. Like you go in and they're already 50 percent Ideally, yeah, you just burst them. Yeah. I mean, it was a weird situation though, because like Licorice wasn't on summon at all there. Like he didn't even alt him. I'm just thinking like if a Fiora repost like that, like repost nothing, and then gets jumped on by a Nocturne with no flash right in front of Cassante, like I don't think they expected results. He lives that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. I'm pretty convinced that Alistar is just like not really a good champ, but that he's more of like a filler pick when you you need a melee support, and he's like kind of the lowest tier one. Where the fuck is Brom, dude? Have Where you noticed that as we get closer and closer worlds, more teams start pulling out Brom? Dude. Dude, the Brom. Literally, dude, every support player, it's like a non-verbal contract they have where they're like, yo, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play bullshit the whole year. Like, I'll play Brom if we need it to make worlds. And that's it. Yeah, that's definitely why. I saw a lot of people were playing Zaya Braum, which I didn't really understand. It wasn't even bad teams. It was like top tier LCK teams are picking Zaya Braum together. It's good that because if, if you put the Braum passive on them, then Zaya autos a few times, it'll stun them. Wait, really? Whoa, really? Dude. Yes. What? How do you, how do you not know that? That's crazy. It's like basic. Oh, this looks so forced. Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to work. Oh, River just going to get killed. Uh, <laughs> so far, we're 0 for 2 on good Nocturnals. <laughs> River's having a rough one. Fly yeah. in, get fucking but, 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 slammed. Like, we don't know who's calling that. Like, I'm going to be honest, it, it could... Obviously, River's controlling the mouse and keyboard, but like it could have been bot lane saying like, Guys, no cleanse, it's a free kill! And, you know... <laughs> Then it's like very hard to like think critically when your teammates are like that confident. Uh huh. No cleanse, but has flash. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just saying like it's like also one problem is, is like with bad teams or not bad teams. Sorry, bad communication is Golden Yard is a good team, but like bad communication is like when you like make something sound so easy to do that your teammates have no choice but to go. But it's like yeah, you're just wrong. You're just making like a like a, a bait call. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. even saying that's exactly what happened. That, that's just something that could have happened because River's not usually doing troll shit like that. That was something I focused so much on when I was playing because, like, as a jungler, right? It's like if somebody calls for me to come to them, it's like it's not just between me and them. It's the whole map, right? Because it's like you know, if my top laner is calling for me, then you know, mid and bot, you gotta understand that I'm not gonna be there. Mm -hmm. So if someone makes like this giga grief bait call, I'm like. Bro, you shouldn't make that. And then usually they'll just shrug it off. Be like, oh, well, I mean, it could work. I'm like, no, <laughs> like, how the fuck could this have worked? Yeah. I mean, a good jungler is able to. It's like you don't need a. Uh, we, on, C on TSM, we talked about it as like, who's the best salesman? Because everyone is trying to sell their lane to the jungler as like, dude, my lane, it's just so fucking free. And then someone else comes and is like, no, like, we're just going to win the game if you come mid. And then, you know, top lane pipes up. It's like, dude, the top dive, like, dude, this guy can't be playing like this. Like, we have to dive top. Yeah, it's so <laughs> it's stupid. Like, like, if you have a team doing that, it's like, there's no world where the jungler should have to fucking there's deal with so many people all wanting him. There's so many choices, though, Medios. Come yeah. on. Yeah, all the options. Dude, Fiora's just going to get run down here i think she yeah, might yeah, die she totally... might die she might die wait it's close oh uh, she's totally oh. out guys she can't get killed. wait i thought she was immortal what's going on here the Chris didn't even bug, fucking maybe? touch her i think it's a bug yeah um no but things changed since then like how, you, how you're talking about videos where like i think what most people have realized is like the jungler has their own brain so you're supposed to just give information. What do you think have changed since then? When was... <laughs> uh, think, I mean, things have changed, I, dude. Like, like Jungle just Jungle don't don't doesn't have like peanut brain anymore. You know, like you, they're actually capable of thinking for themselves. So oh, now, the yeah, yeah, you're right. That did change. I forgot back then. All the junglers were just dog shit, fucking noobs. <laughs> they were all KDA players. Everyone. Yeah, they were all fucking pissed. You're right. So you would just say, like, you know, let's say you're on an LCS team, you would say, like, uh, my wave is, my wave is pulling back, and he, and AD has no sums, or, like, you know, we have, we have double flash, so they have no flashes bought, and then it's up to your jungler to decide if he wants to gank or not, you don't have to, like, micro him, 
Um, it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty revolutionary, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I, th that's a good way to do it in a team. Like you just have all three people giving info in a way where they're basically calling for their jungler, but not directly, so that they have like a <laughs> they can play it off like they weren't calling for him. If it does, like if they try it and it doesn't work, and then if it works, it's like on your call, and if it doesn't work, then it's on the jungler's bad judgment. And like no matter what he chooses, at least two lanes can be unhappy with him. Yep, yep. It's, it's like Wait. really a foolproof system. <laughs> Wait, there's no dude. Of course, <laughs> then your jungler would say like, okay, like I'm coming about like how do we want to gank, and then you talk about the actual gank. But I think it's good if everyone is just giving information. Uh huh. You just gotta play jungle. Play it for a split. Just convince an LCS team to let you jungle. <laughs> play in an environment like that, and I will, I will love to watch it. So, so like, what do you think is the best way? See you at week three, other? kid. Yeah, see you week three. Well, what do you think? So you... Just like like the best teams, like when I play against C9, their whole team is just focused on fucking the enemy jungler like at all costs. Like every lane is just playing to completely shit on the enemy jungler. Yeah, And yeah. so I think it's good to call if it's like, you know the jungler coming to your lane will get something done. Like not just like a maybe like, oh, my lane's pulling, like this guy's overextending kind of thing, like hoping the guy's just going to troll. It'd be like, you know, I'm building a waveless pressure dive on him. If he, like, respects the dive or, like, they counter it, we can, like, do something else, you know, like, fall back to an objective, take their cams, that kind of stuff. I mean, that one's more realistic, what you said, where it's like, I'm building a big wave, we can dive top or bots. Uh, like, that... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's, that's information, though. That's not a call. That's not telling you, Yeah, but I mean, like, there's, like, there's the difference... Right, right. But there's the difference between, like, giving information, like, I can do something to help the team, because usually it'll be like, you know, it's not going to be everyone calling for the jungler to come to their lane. It'll be like, you know, okay, I'm getting this midway pushed in. I'm going to have a timing. Do you want to do something? And the jungler will be like, yeah, yeah, like, his raptors are coming up. Let's invade that. And then the other people will be like, support's coming out of base. Like, all right, I got a timing. Like, I'll come by. Top laner would be like, you know, okay, I, I can't follow my laner but we can sandwich him if he collapses on you kind of thing like that's how i would envision comms going that was a surprise and i think yeah, not just okay. like all three lanes sitting there being like yo bro this guy's looking real fucking cute and gankable submissive even <laughs> okay, yo bro yeah, this guy he's that. like he's he's harassing me bro like i don't know i'm not telling you to gank but i'm just saying he's playing real aggro <laughs> I think Sven called you jealous uh, in my chat just now because, you know, C9, triple playing for jungle all the time. <laughs> Blabber just like perfect full clearing seven camps into the eighth camp, which is somebody's lane. I mean, lane. Blabber's nuts, and the way C9 plays around him is very good. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, but there's nothing I mean, there's, more... there's just some players that like understand what jungle do, and there's some that don't, and... As a jungler, you really hope to get on teams with people who understand the role. It's not that hard to understand, bro. You're PvEing. Relax. Yeah, yeah. Like, their <laughs> jungler is always here, and my jungler is never here. Like, what's there to understand? Enemy jungler gang spot? Like, it's a Krugs game. I, I had to explain it. I think it was on Optic. I had, like, a sit down with my team where I was like, look, guys. Oh, wait, hold up. There's team fight. I'll get back to this. Yeah, hold on. The trauma dump can, can resume after this team fight. Oh my yes. god, he got pushed. One man, Nico. Bruh, no one's dying. Everyone's... And Summit's gonna kill everyone, maybe. Licorice is going wait. Giga! Oh no, he died! Wait. Fiora in a team fight? Yeah. Oh, Licorice Fiora in a team fight there. actually did nothing there. He got, so he got solo pushed off by Nocturne there. Uh-oh. It's a one for one. Golden Guardian's being a little bit healthier though, and looks like they can fall back safely. Holy shit. When Fiora TPs into a team. Oh, with APA? Whoa. Whoa. What was the plan here? Dude, he's walking he around. His visions again, bro. Just like the Trisana insect. Like, mm. Okay, no, but like, I, I had this conversation with my team where it's basically like, you know, say neither team has info on the jungler, right? It's like, you're always going to feel like your jungler is not in your lane because you can see what he's doing. But like, if you don't see their jungler, you'll also feel like he's in your lane because you can't see him and he could be there, you know? So I'm like, most, like, the jungler doesn't spend the majority of his time in any lane. Like, even games where, like, I'm hella camping a lane, it'll be like, I'm spending the minority of my time there. But when you don't see the enemy jungler, it's going to feel like he's there. So, like, the teams that play well and put a priority on, like, getting information and tracking their jungler and stuffing his plays, it's just so much easier for everyone to play. Dude, it sounds like you're playing with some actual bots. That's like some shit you learn when you're playing League for the first time. 
I, I, I'm not commenting on uh, <laughs> that at this time, but I, I, I actually think I actually think that's just like an old school cope where people who get shit on in lane are just saying, well, like I, I just don't know where their jungler is, and like you're never helping me, and so like I just have to respect that their jungler can be here. That's why like I can't trade back. But it's like it's actually just like a military grade cope for like losing lane. Yeah, I mean that's that's what optic was. We had like a just chain of like every game, uh, uh, no matter what the matchup, our bot lane would be like 50 CS to 100. The tier one turret's dead, and they'd be like jungle pressure, and I'm just sitting there like, huh? Yeah, your lane was the only one I went to. Like I was there the whole time. <laughs> so try letting bro. No, I mean like. Obviously, there's times where you, you your matchup gets swung by oh my god. Oh, oh. Wow. you can count the minions? What? Whoa. Yo yo, dude, dude, dude. I gotta teach. I gotta tell you guys about this new tech that my team found out. Slash, I don't know if it's like that. That secret or anything? But pressing tab. What? Yeah, you hold tab when the the fresh wave comes. And if Nico is a minion then her portrait will light up. It's it's so it's so easy. It's so simple. You don't, don't know even have if to think. Your team came up with that. I think it's like no, it's I, I, well I known. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, shut up, dude. We admit that, okay? Relax. Okay. Nice. Nico is a PC. fucking abomination, bro. Like that camouflage shit needs to change. It's so fucking stupid. Bro, like it's so funny when you're playing Nico though and those things work. I, like, I mean, absolutely, it, yeah. I think the funniest shit is... Hold that thought. Oh. Andy's gone. Andy's gone. Andy's gone. I think the funniest shit is when Nico... How does Piosik have, have... He's about to turn back into a regular form. He has more gold than anyone else in the game. Look at his items. The fuck? It's pretty rich. Um, but yeah, the funniest shit is when you turn into red buff or blue buff, and then you just start doing shit as like a, as like a buff in the middle of the lane. I, I just I actually just crack up laughing when that shit happens. Like it's just too troll. No, I mean, I, I, I think a big part of it is like, say you, you like walk up behind a mid laner as a minion or a buff or anything. It's like they don't see you on your their map right away. Like you won't show up as a champion on the map, which is what a lot of people yeah. go off of. Yes. yes. So like I've had so many times where I just like walk up to somebody as a blue buff, <laughs> and, and like so they don't react. To them, right? that, like like, it, like they'll they'll yeah. react eventually, but like they won't instantly react as if I was a champion. No, dude, one hundred percent. Like, a, like it, they don't register you as like dangerous, and like yeah. that happens to me all the time. Like I swear to God, like imagine if Miss, if Nico could turn into like Mr. Potato Head in the game. Like Mr. Potato Head just walks up to you. I'm not gonna like be ready to flash the Nico ult. Mm -hmm. It's not happening. Yep. I mean, there's just like a lot of things like, you know, the even just the health bar and name over champions. Like, people are so used to seeing that and relating it to a champion. Oh, Yon's kind of getting owned. Yon's kind of owning oh, himself. Oh, Stixay missing his second Ezreal ult of all of playoffs right there. Ever. Two in one game. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Uh-oh. Does Piosik Wait, he win didn't, this? He didn't turn Early, into... Get the soul. They're kind of Could covering he have taken it. taken the soul after that? Maybe, but I don't think he would have done anything. He would have just died instantly. <laughs> I see, I see. Damn, Golden Guardian's fighting back! Sheesh! Oh, Piosik. Wait, he didn't react! He didn't react! I mean, With the Summit. Post. Oh, man. Wait, did he? Wow, how the... See them? Is that what yeah, he saw him the whole time and he, and he didn't react. What? Huh? He was face checking, well, like, like trying to did, bait didn't the they, but... Didn't they flicker the vision and he didn't see him? No, no, he saw him. I thought he, he didn't. They, 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 Dude, they flickered the vision and it went dark. I'd be very surprised to get there. That was weird. But I think that ward isn't seeing shit. Oh, really? You think so? It yeah, like, they, bug, they, bug they ward, yeah. flickered Summit's vision, and he, like, was walking into a dark bush. Damn, APA did not get much done this fight. Wow. A, a huge question I've had is, like, about APA's champion pool. Like, most of his good games have been on Trist and... You know, Licorice next and Yon's able to Zix. Zigs. Zigs. They did a really good job. Yeah. He plays Trist. I think the three champs that he can play at, like, a sufficient level is, like, Trist, Zigs, and Cassio. And I think everything else, so if, like, Jace, Ari, um, what else? Like, his Nico's okay. But, yeah, he uh -huh. doesn't have the widest pool, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's he's new to pro play. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's, uh... Oh, never mind. 
pretty different. I checked the VOD. It was, they, they flickered GG's vision. Mm -hmm. So it got confusing. I think the weird thing about Cassio, though, is that I, I don't think she's very good. Yeah, so, I don't think so either. Uh, yeah, so even though it's like he can... I think Ziggs is actually kind of like actually good because uh, he snowballs really hard, not because he's like a super scaler, actually. It's just because it's like if you get Harold with Ziggs, the dude is taking two turrets immediately and getting a crazy gold lead. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Cassio... Little bit weak. Oh, oh, oh! It was not a bad looking engage, actually. Uh, Zero man old. Dick is actually getting so much poke in. I know he is owning them. Oh, summit on the flank, but Fiora is just so weak and fights. Kind of I feel like in playoffs, Dick is the only person whose Ezreal makes it like actually look like a strong champ. Wait, what about FBI? Berserkers? Nah, it's just stick say. <laughs> okay. I see. I think FBI was literally the first Ezreal. Like, uh, because he Ever? played it against. The first Ez. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a Bloodborne boss. <laughs> the first Ezreal. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't like it, but. I mean, some of these teams are winning anyways. With it, the Ezreal. I had like a mental battle this this year coming back that it's like a new perspective. But you guys know how like when you when you think that your champ is like when you think that you have a shitty matchup or like your champ is shitty, then you just play worse. Uh -huh. um, and you're not really thinking about like how to play the. Well, at least for me, I was not really like that good at playing like matchups that I'm not comfortable with or like champs that I'm not good at because I always felt pressure to like do something stupid. Um, hold on, hold that thought. Ooh. Oh. Wait. He's dead. Oh, this is a big one. It's a big oh. one. It's a big one. Kind of only hit the front line, though. Piosic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Piosic's kind of cooking. Oh my god. They is this GG? I think it's GG. No, this is TL. It's game over. Yeah, they can end. They can end. Just push ace, mid. If you ace him with the fresh wave. Damn, bro. Face, like, all usually right. what Huki did is fine, but against Diego, <coughs> that's like not the person you want to run it down against. Yeah. That Nico looked good, but it legit only hit frontline. Yeah, it, it, it did get him killed by Kaisa like right afterwards. So. Yeah. Uh, I think Nocturne is just useless this game. Like, huge jungle gap. Not even kidding. Yeah. Mego is, like, such a threat, and in team fights, Nocturne can't do anything. He's not pressuring anyone. Yep. Wow. God he damn. The last, like, five minutes was just Golden Guardian's highlight reel, and then they lose. Yeah, I mean, all the gold on Ezreal, and he didn't get to do much damage in the fight, so... Yeah, I mean, he was doing a good job fighting Fiora. Like, they killed Fiora, but then Diego just rolled up to him as Nico and fucking one-tapped him. Yeah, yeah, that was fucked. I don't know, man. I always think back to what people classically think, you know, like five, five, six years ago. Like Isa uh, was always... Yeah, the old Socrates, <laughs> he wrote in his books that the first Kaisa's ones. good into Ezreal. Kaisa is good against Ezreal, and now, because of, like, Ezreal's, like, changes, I guess... Ezreal can win lane against Kaisa. Ezreal can push lane and have pressure for a very long time, but I, I think Kaisa is just good against Ez. Indeed. I remember there being something about that in Art of War by Sun Tzu. Yeah. In regards yeah. to the Kaisa Ezreal matchup. Yeah, he said, don't pick this shit. <laughs> mm hmm. By the way, has, have we done any predictions at all? I, I haven't even been thinking about the games. I'm pretty sure Golden Garden is going to win. I don't even remember, but Team Liquid won the first game, apparently. But actually, I think Golden Guardians has... No, nah, Golden Guardians has a better draft, right? Like, you got Triss, Rumble, and then they got Kai'Sa. I, I think Golden Guardians draft better, but I do think Zeri is actually completely, like... I, I, dude, back. Maokai into no frontline comps? Like, there's no fucking chance you win this. Wait, what? Why does Maokai uh, uh, need, need frontline? No, no, uh, if you're playing no frontline against Naokai, because who's going to tank the big-ass roots that come down? You just get rooted in one tap. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I, I and, like, every sapling's actually pounding you. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, Core tried to do the thing! Guys, that's an actual mechanic. What you is can, it? You can make your W on Rel. You know how she like goes up and then she comes down and crashes and that's the knockup? You can glitch it against a wall. Hold that thought. Okay, you, you can glitch it against a wall to make it go instantly. So the crash happens instantaneously. Hmm. It's a very troll ass mechanic, but yeah. If someone's up against a wall, you can like W into it and it'll make you crash. Uh, Preemptively. Haven't seen that. A premature crash. A little bit, yeah. Hmm. Pretty good at those mechanics uh -oh. myself. That's a big pop. Dude, did you guys see Zven's tweet about Berserker and Nico? It was too funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like probably one of the best tweets I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. The gold is not producing it. It's only a 700 uh, gold lead so far. It's kind of the pressure and the, the way that oh. the sports respond. What even was it exactly? It was like Nico hard counters Berserker because when he sees two cannons, he thinks it's his lucky day. Oh, yeah, okay. So good. <laughs> oh, is oh. that? Does that work? Oh my god. Wait, what? Josek, just Q flash oh. him, bro. Okay. I wonder if he would have died with the Nico auto. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh! oh. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Worth. Should have given some of that kill, though. The, the second one. I wonder if Diego's coming back, if Wukong will make will make an appearance again. I think Wukong's still OP. It's just like his early game is sketchy. I feel like because of... I feel like because... I don't know. Because bot lane is like more chill right now. Uh, in terms of like matchup volatility. The junglers that can help mid the most are like very strong. So, like, if you can early gank mid with like Maokai or Sedge or Rel, it's very good. Oh, wow. This looks pretty good for GG. I think they're going to get sums at least. Maybe oh, a flash. What is resulting in bot lane being chiller? Is it because every AD carry is not running ghosts anymore? So they actually have like defensive summoners? That's actually maybe part of it. I don't know. You would think that because oh. it's like melee melee matchups that it's like more spicy, right? But actually, it's not like that at all. Like when it's melee melee matchups, AD carries are usually at like full HP all the time. Because um, like small True. trades, small trades don't happen that much, right? As opposed to like when it's range versus range matchups, small trades happen all the time. So in like a melee melee matchup. Um, it's like a script, like you push the wave into the turret, it bounces back, then you can gank that lane as it's bouncing back, or you can just recall if you're not going to gank. Um, uh -oh. and it's oh, like just like flipping no. waves. Our under wow. T-Shade, thank you. thought he was fucked. Nah, he's chilling, bro. But he's down a lot of CS. <laughs> He's playing against Ignite Rumble, dude. That's a good point. That I think this is pretty good CSing considering what he's up against. I really oh think TL should have given swaps. him the kill, though. Uh, oh, wait, this summit. is really nice. Uh, this is okay. so nice. Uh, you, know, you know, Golden Guardians doing this is so insane because they have Herald, too. And they were up tempo from bot lane, and, and Zeri rushed tier 2 boots, so she's so much faster on the race than, than Kaisa would be. Since yeah. she's like, yeah. How did it's just amazing play by How them. How did Teal get blindsided by that so hard? Like, I don't know. They... Maokai showed like 30 seconds before, and he just seemed to have no idea that the rest of the team was showing up. Because they double base bot lane, but like Zeri is so fast. Like, she jumps over the wall, and she rushes tier 2 boots, so she has like a, I don't know, like 10 to 15 second advantage on that MAD carry. It's like very hard to like react to that. Mm. The Avengers. Oh! Whoa. Six A greedy for a plate. I've been there. And like, it's triple good when you factor in like Rumble. Rumble is like very happy to be one v two enemy bot lane because he can like potentially clear a stacked wave with his ulti. Mm -hmm. And the enemy top laner just doesn't get that, a farm. That was like the only thing on Rumble that was nerfed with his rework is his alt cooldown. Oh. Super long. I think it's 130 rank one now. He always had the issue of like when you play things like Jax, Camille, whatever into him, he can't actually beat them in prolonged fights, but they made his kit just infinitely better at that. Like his 
W scales off his health. He does percent health. His Someone's dead again. Overheat stronger. Yeah, he's just dead again. And look, it's like weak side rumble. I don't know if he's used his ulti already, but he might wait for the next wave and just blow the whole thing up by himself. Oh, wow. The gold is going to be very... Oh, he already used it, I guess. He's not using it here. I think here you just shift down and you take bot tier one on the wrist. So like, oh no, they're just gonna ha they're gonna give the Drake. Well, that feels a bit bad if they're gonna give Drake too. Then it's not really worth it for Golden Guardians to have done this because they're trading one for two. They're gonna lose drag and four plates. But they're getting a good mid lane trade. Yeah, that's true. Had nothing to do with the macro, but that's pretty connected. That's true. Yeah, but like Gory's whooping his ass. Uh, I think if I was GG, I would think about like overloading bot here, like just like push mid, push bot, and then have uh, Rumble's not gonna stay. He's just gonna go top. Yeah, maybe you can't do anything here. It's too hard. I think having Triss like push mid and cover top here, and then keeping Rumble bot could have been good. Uh, the whole the whole game is awkward now because Harold is about to come up. So like, what does Golden Guardians do? Do they send their bot lane to Harold? Do they? Like Trist just used TP, so she can't even be playing on the side. Herald timer on screen? Usually there yeah, is. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the Herald timer. I, I I think what they're doing here is like they're just handshaking. Like okay, fuck bot lane. But then TL has TP advantage. Um, they're gonna send Nico bots with TP. So GG just needs to rush Herald. That's the that's the way you play that script out because they're actually like look, Trist is going bots. Then TL could say, let's fight the Herald now. I have TP advantage. Ooh. Oh, no, he can't. Gory's too smart. He's actually going to play to cancel the TP. Oh! Oh! Hello? Does he Hello? get it, though? Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. He's too smart and too slow. Wow. Uh, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. He's so yeah, crazy. He's fast. No, TL, TL's macro ended up being better than GG, even though they got the surprise swap. I mean, I, I really think that, like, I see a lot of times where it seems like teams being too rigid and, like, where their champions are going ends up, like, costing them a lot map pressure-wise. Because that, I think that whole sequence where Rumble was bottom could have been played out, like, really smooth if they just had yeah, Tristana yeah. think about catching the top wave. And then, like, you know, you play with your number advantage bot to either, like, pressure the bot turret, get full control between bot and mid, and then, like, Rumble can hold mid or something. Like, just play with the number advantage you have rather than Rumble recalls. And then your whole map is awkward. I, I see what you mean, but in that specific way, like situation, Triss was playing for mid plates because he got a good trade. He knew that AP had a base, so he's playing to get himself ahead instead of just like being the moving piece. But but yeah, I see. I do see what you mean, like being being like too rigid in like who goes where. Because even afterwards, I feel like Gory was like really tunneled on being mid, so he TP'd mid. But like why? Like why would you TP mid there? when you could just hold it and go bot and then have like you know tp to group when the herald spawns i think uh -huh. like they're probably like yeah yeah i mean they're I mean, playing a very night team, rumble but... so i just think you need to be uh i don't know more creative with your map assignments when you're only running one tp because yeah. you know the other team's going to be able to group better from side lanes, so I think you should. If, yeah. When you get man advantages and like have pressure, you should just press that as hard as you can. Use your extra combat some to get fights with Rumble. Yeah, ex that's exactly like, what that look, means. Look at look at this here. Like they have Rumble shoves a wave. He uses his like timer to rotate mid, but now he has to go back. And so like, what does Golden Guardian even do off that? It's going to be the exact same situation where now Summit is going to look to TP and it'll be another 5v4 potentially. I think Rumble will come down after this wave in time. I mean, he, he can, but like, look, if it's a fast fight, Aatrox just shows up so much faster. I mean, good bait by Golden Guardians that was, getting the TP. That was so good. They just made him waste TP. I mean, Drag's coming up, so I think Summit just stays now. Like, he doesn't. He, you shouldn't even go top at this point. You just have to, like, stand there. If they think uh, they yeah. can fight it, yeah. I, if I was TL, like, you, they're giving it up. And we, we send it on these third Drake. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, weird. Very weird. But it's all about that Kaisa timing. She's just useless until three items. 
TL because they want to control the map. And I mean, Kai'Sa will... Well, you, can't do that you know how, like, Zarya used to be the god of scaling? But, like, I, I don't see how you can play Zarya against Kai'Sa late game. It's just... It, it sounds impossible. You will you will die so fucking fast. Zarya's Q is way shorter cooldown than Kai'Sa's. That's true, that's true. That's true. That's a great point, Medios. But what about Zeri or Kaisa doing like 5k damage in like two seconds? That's a lot of damage that... in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. that, that could be pretty good for Zeri. No, it's not that much, but it, it's enough to one shot Zeri like, with some overkill. This is also what I mean. Like, why, why would you go double Righteous Glory? Like, isn't it better? Fucking Righteous Glory. Radiant Virtue. Why would you go double Radiant Virtue if you're GG? Like, wouldn't it be better to have one Evan Shroud, one Radi Radiant, or like have one Locket even? If you're going to go like super defensive? Mm, I mean, as far as I know, there's no diminishing returns for Radiant. Yeah, I, that's true, but. Uh, maybe, maybe that's it's just a more defensive option. Yeah, I feel like either way is. You, I guess fine. you can't go wrong because those items are so counting. universally good. I would guess it'd be better to spread, but I also see nothing horrible. I think having horrible. one Evan is just very, very strong. Like just ten percent more damage. Oh, Aatrox would have died if they had an Evan Shroud. That's true. Oh. oh, huge Nico all. Oh my god. Damn. That, was a, that was a big that one. Was nice. Nico. Oh. Oh my god. Piosic kind of going Giga on the Maokai. Huh. I mean, yeah. Diego. Now he's Maokai. Oh, uh, oh Penta, Penta, Penta. 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 Actual Penta. Oh, oh my. Oh. Give it to him. Who he? Give it to him. Give it to him. He's actually going to get it. Oh wow. my god. He it died for it. Oh, he died for it. Wow, what the fuck? That escalated quickly. What the hell? Holy okay. shit, man. How'd that go so bad? Just the Nico? I wanna see I wanna see the Nico TP. Nico smurfed on him? Okay, so Nico TP's there. And they're going deep and they're not they're not really playing around Nico coming in. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a nasty one. Yeah, four men. Literally five four, is, was it five? I think it missed uh Trish at the top. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Holy fuck. Legit pentakill. Crazy. That's so worth to die for a penta. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Don't be like the nerd who pushes up your glasses and says shit like that. You, you, you just gotta go for it. Like sometimes wait, you just gotta wait. send it. Wait, they're on Baron. Oh, Six A might have. Oh, oh another my. nice oh, GG. APA. GG. GG. Yeah. Uh oh. It's over. Holy. It's all over. Dude, TL's gonna be up 2-0. What the if fuck? If they win this game, the... yes, they will be up to a. Yeah, what the game. hell? Uh oh. Piosic is straight 1v9ing on Diego. And he doesn't have the OP items. Golden Guardians are fourth seed to defeat EU in a cage match? I mean, it's basically like you already qualify if you're fourth seed, like beating EU is a joke. It's just so, such a given. They shouldn't even hold the match, I think. Like, they should yeah. just uh, give it to NA so we don't have to waste our time. Obama should put the medal Wait, on our neck already. playing that match anyway? I was asking uh, that. And people saying it's in Korea. I, I think it's in the Roman Coliseum. <laughs> it's in the Roman Coliseum? Yeah. Wait, that's kind of hype. Do they even have internet there? Right after, uh... No, I don't think Italy's there yet. The Zuck fight. Oh, oh. 6A, oh. Dude, he was pretty close to getting Raptors there, though. <laughs> yeah. If he got the Raptors, it would have been a 6 for 1, but unfortunately <laughs> he didn't, so just a 1 for 0. You're actually a nerd for knowing how many Raptors there are. Yes, nerdy as fuck, there's no way to really know. Like counting? Imagine counting. That's actually crazy. Oh, wait, why'd someone go for the auto there? I feel huh. like if he buffered Q3, he would fucking yeah. heal up a lot of Furkan. Yeah. 
Nice little pick off into Silent. Okay, nerd. Guardians, but it's pretty cope at that point to say, hey, we got him as you lose your mid inhibitor as well as Stixa dropping yet again. They've been so Medius, you're yeah, the kind I'm of guy. I'm not one of those be... nerdy pro gamers. I'd be, I'd be I'm like one of the squirrely pro gamers. You in high school, I, think. <laughs> I don't even read tooltips, bro. Like, I don't read <laughs> like, patch notes. I don't read tooltips. I don't even know what my champion does. Oh. Hell, I don't even practice the game. Like, I'm. I don't even. I've never played League in my life. Yeah, dude, I'm like that would out be there, super like, nerdy. wait, banging Yo, thirty wait, girls a night. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Hello? What the fuck? Huh? He's just dead. Oh Guys, my god! Joseph is legit fucking. Someone going please insane. tell Sticks A that Zeri is actually fake. The only person who's allowed to play Zeri in NA is Berserker because he can win with any champ. He can literally fucking Teemo AD carry and win the game. So <laughs> wait, is he good? This at Teemo? champ is fake. I, I've seen his Teemo, he's crazy. His mechanics are good Holy enough, he, he can handle it, I think. Like, I tried to make Zeri work too, but this champ is just dog shit. Just go next. Scratch his head? What the fuck? Yo, reverse sweep, reverse sweep. Or at least game five. I don't care reverse sweep or not, but like, at least game five. I mean, this does not feel like it's this supposed to be a 3-0. GG's like, ahead in both games. It's a nice Nico game by APA. Yeah, I mean that all was game changing. Ban Diego, Is Diego no? Bollins? That was the first LCS jungler Penta we've had. Is it real? Really? Probably. I mean, how the fuck's a jungler getting a Penta? I swear. Diego is literally the only champ who can do that. Yeah, I mean, I swear Closer had one, but maybe not. Maybe it was fucking. Yeah. Well, did did they mean like all time in NA or like this series in NA? Okay. <laughs> Does that feel wrong though? Like a jungler has never gotten a penta in LCS, really? It's been ten years. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to get pentas when your BBB is like trying so hard for all the kills. <laughs> Them BBBs, man. Oh, some people in my chat don't know what BBB means. So yesterday, <laughs> Medios was getting annoyed that. AD carry has the word carry in it. I was it getting so that the AD mad carry about like, it. I was getting yeah. so mad about it. Dude, you, you, you gotta you gotta tell how it is. Like you, you really gotta emphasize just inflamed. how mad I was about it. I, I it was it was like your voice was literally quivering. I was I was and, like it was cracking. I was sweating. Yeah, yeah. So instead of calling it AD carry, which is the only role in the game with the word carry in it, which really triggers medios. Just gotta make that clear. Very triggered. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, yes. We decided to call. Uh, it bottom bitch boy, so BBB. Yep, yep. It's it's more representative of the role. AD carry just like you know, it's outdated. Official new wording. Remember when Riot tried to like rebrand AD carry as marksman because I think Medias probably petitioned internally for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The leading spokesman. He wrote he wrote a strongly worded letter. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I don't know, man. Like they they just keep doing this where they they give Kaisa for something else. I, I think they should just go Trist AD carry. That matchup is actually good for Trist. I don't really like any of the answers people are coming up with. Ezreal don't like it. Sivir, I mean, people don't play Sivir to Kaisa anyways, but the Zeri, the Zeri was not it. I mean, just play like what Team Liquid did. They play Trist Taric. Kaisa never has enough damage to threaten a kill on that lane. Kaisa can never kill you through Terra Cult. Whoa. Zaya. Another Viego, bro? Oh, actually, what am I saying? Zaya's up. That's a great matchup for Zaya. I, I think this matchup is. It's probably like 60 40 for Zaya into, into Kaisa, but Kaisa can uh, set up a I've early heard it's dive. closer to 70, like around 69 or so. Oh. Mm, that's a good point, Medios. Have heard that. Yeah, I like the rel. Probably been Nautilus. People probably think, oh, Nautilus is Nautilus is not good against Zaya, or you know, because of the ult interaction, but I, I do think that Kaisa Nautilus is just like an anomaly. Uh, so would you say he is not good? <laughs> oh. Uh yeah, it was pretty troll not to ban Nautilus. Uh I'm just gonna say my little piece real quick. I do think that Zaya is pretty good against Nautilus in general, but with Kai'Sa, you don't need to one-shot Zaya. You can literally just ult uh, you know, the support or the enemy mid laner. And also, on top of that, if you ever do get your ulti blown by anything else, so if someone flashes on you and blows your ulti, then you are dead 100% of the time to Kai'Sa Nautilus, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, 
It's just like not really that good. I don't know why they would ban Rel. Not and like I don't know. It's not good here. Yes, I, I think it's totally fine. With Kaisa specifically, it's so good. And they're the, the full reset comp, so basically the you know, Team Liquid just playing around Viego again. Their whole comp just revolves around getting one kill, um, uh, with you know, maximum burst damage, Nico, and then Viego will start resetting. And I think it's very easy to do that against like Trist and I'm, I don't love Golden Guardian's comp. Cassante Sijuani is like not really a combo. What was River playing last game? So he played Nocturne in the first game. What did he play last game? Meowkai. Ah, uh, okay. We were talking a lot about how, like, oh, no frontline against Meowkai, and, like, the only way they could have lost is by breaking their formation and, like, getting flanked. <laughs> because they can't lose front to back, like you said. And that's exactly what happened twice. They just broke their formation mid, got five man ulted, and then they went to Baron. Obviously, you can't you can't like hold a good formation at Baron. One of one of the tanks is sitting on top of Baron, so let's lose there again. I think this game is going to be very similar. Like Golden Guardians needs to play like a very textbook team fight, and then TL is looking to like have different angles and dive. Our team was so bad at playing uh, the like holding a formation and like you know playing the front to back. And sort of like moving together as a unit, but not like going too far one one way or the other and getting flanked. Mm. Um, so, and I think TL is spe specifically what, what usually is like went very wrong good at that. with it. It's not one thing that went wrong in, in particular. It's like we would just allow ourselves to get flanked. If that makes sense. So like just, yeah, so it was like mostly the backline messing up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was, I think it was mostly AD carry gap. Okay. Um, or like, I think like one really important thing when you play against a comp like TLs is you have to know when to pl when to engage, right? Like you have to know when to just start running at them and just start the fight. Because if you the longer you wait, the more like you give the enemy team time to like circle you like sharks. So um, that's like another thing that Golden Guardians should probably look out for is like when should we just like go in and get the fight started? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it can be hard playing frontline in this situation. I feel like usually the protected carry comps work best when you have, like, a long-range carry. And then your whole plan is that your carry just, like, walks at them and starts hitting them with red buff and shit. And, yeah, it was you particularly good with, like, rapid fire, right? Where it's, like, so easy to yeah. feel the confidence. Because you always run the risk, like, if, if it's on the frontline to engage, then, like, they go in and then that gives the opening for the flankers to go in because your CC is down and whatnot. Yeah, I, th I think exactly what you said is why that, like, kind of almost like why we were not that good at it, because, like, that that balance of, like, knowing when to go, but, like, don't go at a time when it could it could create an opening to get flanked. Oh? It's, like, so hard to do. I, I'm not in any way thinking that it's, like, easy. Honestly, Ooh. this is a good trade. If he hits Q on the reverse, he does, yeah. That... All of these Xyrakon trades, all of the interactions within Xyrakon kind of comes down to how often Rakan can hit Q. Because the longer the lane goes... It's so much to you're say. Gonna, you're going to get literally hundreds or even up to like a thousand healing off of Rakan's Q. It's such an overpowered ability because it heals twice. Some Korean has, like, supports have actually been known to get millions in lane. Yeah, that that's not true. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, my bad. I'm just trying to back up your point. You're <laughs> shitting on me. My bad. Never agree with you again. Now, now we know I what it's it. like to be Medios' teammate. I get it. I get it. <laughs> just never agree with double lift. I understand. Well, bad situation for Golden Guardians. They have to double cancel recalls. Ooh, this is bad. This, this is, is real bad. They have to do the walk of shame back to... To recall now. 34 CS though, it's usually enough to get a noon quiver. Let's see. Nope. I lied. Ooh, recurve. Sold the biscuits. He needs that 15 gold. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> or, I guess, 10 gold. He's fucking rich. <laughs> Take a rune for 15 gold. <laughs> the value. 
Gory is someone who I'm hoping to see a little bit more out of if Golden Guardians are going to make a push. Oh, wow, Cora is He's had good lane phases. protecting He's Raptors here. Both supports are here. Oh, oh that's not the real, uh, that's not the real fucking Nico. No. I, I got... No, that is Nico. Which one? Right there? The one that one. I see it, I see it. I think that is it. That was a spicy fight. That was a, that, look at that was such a who he versus core JJ moment, right? Like these are the probably some of the only supports that will open out mid and be not just willing to help mid, but like go topside for like uh, a good play. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a huge part of support is just on like having good awareness, recognizing what's going on and how you can affect it. Similar skill set to yeah. jungling. Yeah, but supports have the luxury of like you don't actually need to grab your camp so you're just completely open yep i think a lot of supports know that when they recall they should open up through mid right but Wait. i think like not a lot of people six eight didn't get the heal yeah that was weird that's actually cheeky is that something recons do often just tag the dragon with q and come back to heal yes yes very 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 common nowadays at least i've never noticed it you just like watch like you know, the best bot lanes in the world, how they play Zyra Khan, and it's like, oh, okay, like, this lane is... This lane is advantaged in, like, so many, like, little tiny things, like, that all add up to, you know, better sustain, for one, that's a huge one, better poke, you know, because you have, like, way better range. Uh, almost unbeatable level 6, I think almost no bot lanes can beat Zyra Khan when they both hit 6. Uh... And I would say the last one is like double recalling is actually very, very strong. Like having having the ability to cheat the wave and have your support recall in the bush. So good. <clears throat> it is Do you think it's good. correct for Tristanus to never run Halo Blades? I think it's interesting that like we literally never see them do it. It's always lethal or fleet. I don't know if you need any more with the, the Q change. It still just seems like such a strong synergy. You just insta-fucking bomb them and get out. Yeah. <clears throat> I think uh, whenever it's something is always or never, the answer is probably like, you're probably right, there are probably some games where lethal tempo is best. Probably some games where Halo Blades is best. Because I know before Halo Blades was like the thing on Trist. Yeah, no, I think I think it's probably viable. I personally wouldn't feel comfortable playing any carry Trist with Halo Blades because like, I would have practiced most of my games with a different keystone, so I don't think I would make the most out of the rune. But I think, like, objectively, there's some games where it's good. I remember for the longest time, people was playing Kai'Sa with, with Ginsu's, and I was explaining to my team, well, Ginsu's is better than Ludens for, like, X, Y, and Z reasons, right? And they're like, are there? Are you sure there are no games? Like, the question my teammates would ask is, like, are you sure there are, like, no games where, like, Ludens is better than Ginsu's? And I was like, no, because, you know, Ginsu's, it gives you Q Evolve, which is a huge damage boost. Like, Ginsu's does, like, so many of these things, like, stacking Plasma faster. And like, you know, fast forward a couple weeks, Ludens is now like the meta build. So I was like, I went from like never buying it to almost always buying it. Uh, interesting. That's how pro players work, dude. <laughs> you just do what a the build does. You do whatever fucking yep. ruler did. Whatever yeah, the, whatever, whatever ruler the Korean did. overlords deem as viable. Ruler just buys his heal no, randomly? Fuck it. <laughs> no matter if the build's good or bad, you can always fall back on the reasoning that so-and-so did it. So, like, you never have to, like, defend your choices. Uzi hit rank really one with that genius. build. Yep. The like whole appeal to th authority though thing kind of does work when it's it's fucking ruler bro like he's literally a god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a fucking god. Until like, there's a better AD carry and then that AD carry is god. Well, yeah. That's true. Gory's always ahead of APA in farm. Even in the Nico game where he was Nico Ari, he was 30 CS ahead at 15 minutes. Ari was 120 to to Gory's 150. But he hasn't like translated his lead into anything in any of the games. Like he's he was almost invisible in the in the first game, Nico Nocturne, and then in the last game he was just getting flanked. It's not really his fault. Yeah, I mean, but. I think part of that's playing Trist. But I don't know. He probably could move around more than he is. Like try to influence the side lane or jungle matchup. Yeah, but, I mean, it's I not actually, like what he's doing is bad. Like he's getting no. fucking giga farm. I, I I definitely don't mean that he needs to be like perma roaming with Trist. Uh, it's just like he gets the lead, but then they just somehow lose the game. Like they lose the fights. 
But yeah, no, he's he's doing good. Yeah, I mean, just... it comes down to like the way he's playing gets him a big resource lead, right? Like he gets a lot of gold, but I think generally the leads that amount stuff is like uh, zone control leads. Like if you're winning, you just keep prio, and then like you know you have vision and you're pressuring camps and objectives and dives on other lanes because that's harder to play against than. Like this is, you know, okay, Trish is going to be strong this game, but that alone yeah. is just not enough to win a game. Uh, yeah, that's totally right. I mean, when sometimes Kane will talk about this, which is like a very, very uh, normal thing, to, I guess, for Korean teams to think about. I think a lot of LCS teams probably don't think about this. Is like, are you like losing your tempo for something temporary? Like, for example, you push your lane and then you greed for the plates. And then you get your recall canceled, or, or like you're just slow out on the map, and and you got the plates, but like the enemy eighty carry gets to move for herald. Seems very obvious that that would be like shit, but like there's like so many other situations that aren't as obvious where you're losing your tempo. Yeah, and you're letting your opponents make the first move. Uh, it's like kind of kind of what you're saying, where it's like zone control is like so important, like having the first move, like always always making the first move with your prio. Yeah, like if you can set up vision between mid and bot, you can you control dragon. You that is not a good lanes. hook. Uh oh, Ooh, that was a really not good hook. Spicy but... core gonna flash still go down. No, Yon's just uh -oh. gonna die. He has flash, but it's He's not good enough. Uh, uh -oh. 2v3? Yoshi getting another Wait. penta, another penta. Two v four, two v four, two v four. They're actually going 2v4. in. Two v four. They're going in. Oh, oh, that stopwatch was oh! so cheese, dude. Pierce dead. Oh, Gory God. is actually oh. trolling, but he somehow managed to make the fight work. Wow. Go back and watch this team fight from Gory POV. That was disgusting what he did. That was actually disgusting. That was chaotic as fuck. Why did he hook there? What the fuck? <laughs> he, no he must clue. have just not thought <laughs> no. River was there at all. Just insta dies for it. All right, let's nah, see Gory. Guys, He's got you guys got to you guys got to watch Gory. Like I'm watching one. Gory. I'm looking. He's got I'm the looking. First movies coming down. Full like, HP. This was just this was just straight up. Jumps portable, melee what I'm range into Jax. Gets stunned. <laughs> gets banged. Okay, he's in there. Now what? No, no. Watch this one. Watch this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, cancels like an how auto. is he Jesus. not getting punished for that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. I mean, it was calculated, though. It was just yeah, obvious. Yeah, that was very calculated. No, he's, he played that Wait, good, he's actually. static? Trist? Did he do that last game, too? Is that Kraken? Uh, I've seen both. You know, I'm I'm no expert here, but Kraken Slayer does seem pretty fucking strong when you have maxed out attack speed. I think it's yeah, supposed just, to be Kraken. That's just a small opinion of mine. You know, if, you, if you're playing a champ that has... Uh, you know, 2.5 attack speed at all times in the game at two items, like, Kraken Slayer could be, like, a good choice. Pretty fucking strong, eh? I mean, this part feels good where you're, like, clearing waves instantly and stuff, but... It's a very, very big difference in damage. I mean, Tristan didn't even have wave clear problems. No, not at all. Oh, that was... Okay. Great punish by... Uh, Is it? Great punish yep, by them. they got him. Nice. Oh, C9 is, and Gory C9 gets it back. Let's go, Gory. Let's fucking go, Gory. <laughs> Making sure everyone is entertained. I mean, Gory wants to give it to EU. That's why he's doing what he's doing. Uh, he's like, I don't want third seed, some pussy play and shit. I want to <laughs> take out Europe. <laughs> Send him home. I'm still not entirely sure how the format works out. Like... We're not gonna have two seeds in play-ins, are we? No, basically. So the way it works is our fourth seed will play. Okay, in no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Just right. stop. Sneaky asked the question he did not want an answer to. You Understood. weren't giving me the answer I wanted. Top three are all in Swiss group stage. Swiss format's actually the best. Yeah, I don't know how Swiss works. I don't works. even know what it is. It just sounds nice. But Swiss is the one where it's like everyone starts at like zero zero, and then you play your first match, and then like. The winners play the winners, the losers play the losers, and then you keep playing people with the same record as you. Up until and like oh. three wins or losses, right? Uh, I don't know when you stop, but you just keep doing that, and then the like highest teams advance. How you determine who 
plays who. By, by who uh, it's based on records, like right? the, the same record. You play against people with the same record. Oh, but you're still within like a group of like four or something. That does sound very. very I good. don't know. I don't know the specifics. I just know how Swiss works. Three wins advance, three losses, and you're out. Apparently. And I don't really see a way for TL to kind of find angles. Okay. So they're copying the Hearthstone Arena format. Yep. Stick saying who he. Oh, he just used E to clear the wave. The cannon like, just missed. Try to ult that if you can. Oh. Okay, he's just out. Everyone's in the same group. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say like Swiss with multiple groups sounds weird. Like that was that's the whole point of Swiss is just to have like one big ass group. Dude, Licorice is probably just dead, no? Unless he wants to flash the fat Unless he wall. can star walk the fuck out. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh, he actually dies there? Wait. Wait. Gory's in. Oh. How are Gory's plays working? Because he's fed as fuck. This is what Dude, he oh. does hear the Rally Man in the game. This is what slapping someone with a money bag looks like. Like, this is why he's better than me. Like, he goes for these, and he, like, I guess he just, like, knows it's going to work. Because, like, I I would just not have done that. And it probably, like, I probably would have let Viego, like, walk away or some shit. I don't know. Like, that. <laughs> he just jumped in, and it works. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not calculated, but it works. Oh. I mean, he's he has Murtrides. Like, he's building defensively, and then he's... He's just got so much gold that he still does damage even with that. Yeah. I just thought he was going to jump in, get pushed by Kasante W into, you know. Oh, big TP coming in from APA. That's a APA TP, yeah. Somebody. That's a Nautilus, dude. What do you mean that's APA? Look at him. Oh, oh. wow. He actually is going to let oh. him walk out. Okay, double flash. Yeah. They can chase down here with Kaisa Nautilus. They can chase down. Oh. Yep. Yep, and then Nala's flash hook, Nala's flash hook. No. Nope. Oh, he's got to wait for Viego to get out of the way. You don't want to hook your own teammate. This is a very close game for how, like, big the gold lead is. Doesn't feel like GG is so far ahead. Yeah, I mean, they're playing like a 2 threat comp, and their carries don't have three items yet. So they're not, like, super strong. This is a real interesting way to... Oh, oh, he's oh, unkillable. No, what? Ooh, someone can TP. Like, they can chase, but there's no TP ward, so maybe Piosic. I don't think they'll do it. Oh, there's the flash hook we were waiting for. There it is. <laughs> uh, TL's got to get out. Piosic has Wait. no flash. He is Piosic's dead. actually probably dead. Yep, he looks slightly. Oh, maybe not. Uh, there's some damage ass. dealers in range of them. Oh my god, y'all got was a crazy cone. cone. Oh, he got oh, last he auto crit. crit he gets the crit. He gets Gory's the last auto crit. Dude, no, no. Gory's the luckiest player in the game. <laughs> Gory's the luckiest He's player in the game. Like, so I don't care what anyone's saying. Like, He's that so is lucky. just... If he does not kill it, if that last auto is not a crit... Nah, nah fuck this guy. <laughs> no, just... No. <laughs> but what if he didn't crit at all before that? Is it still luck? Then he, he's building his luck up. Yep. Luck on hit. The lucky hit. Chance on lucky hit while wearing one sock. <laughs> the fucking blast cone, dude. Just completely fucked oh Yon. God. Okay. Yon could have got out. If he got lucky, he could have got out. I mean, if he, he went back in for, to like tra trade damage, I don't think you recognize Gory was coming after him. He had the cone right above him. You'd have got yeah. to. I think Infernal Laps is my favorite. That one in Chemtech, like just so many cones everywhere makes the game way more interesting. Dude, the camouflage zone is so good. <laughs> that still exists, you're right. This game is making the Trist first pick look mighty like a fine. Good trade. Yeah, good trade if you give Kaisa to take Trist. Kind of a boring meta, though, to be honest. I wonder if anyone's going to crack the code. Escape the Matrix. Because, like, these <laughs> trades happening every game. Oh. Oh. APA, APA just... 
dead. Deleted. Flash. Core is looking dead. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's dead. Wait. Oh god. Uh, Giga Not like this. Incoming? Not another Penta. No. He's like, the hot Kozik man. Has insane Tristana mechanics. Oh, he's canceling so many autos. That's because he lost his Q. That is a dragon. Can they get it? TP Jax, maybe? Oh, no. Do you need a TP? It's the Trist build of Doom. What'd he get? You'll see. He bought GA third. Oh. Complete. Oh. Uh, Sin. What would you go here? Probably death cap. That's a bad stopwatch from Gory. God yeah, damn. Yeah. yeah. No threat on him. Oof. Just getting slightly autoed. Gory's is having a very off game. But he, now he has J, so he can like die, and then he can like respawn with 600 HP, and then probably just die again. And then Viego will have a GA when he turns into Trist. Oh, well, you're right, actually. I didn't think about the Viego. Maybe it's more reasonable when the enemy team is a reset comp to, to buy the GA. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually look at these kind of things as far as like how much damage do you need uh, in this game. And their team's pretty ahead, so I don't think it's horrible for him to go defensive item. I don't think it's necessary, but he does seem to like getting in there. I, I feel like damage items, they scale like so exponentially with each other. Like, for example, like if you don't have a lot of damage, then BT's not that good, because it's not going to give you a ton of lifesteal. But when you have a fuck ton of damage, then like you're hitting hard, you're, every auto is lifestealing like 100 HP as opposed to like 30 it's massive, and then, you know, the each each crit item synergizes with itself so much. You even get, like, bonus damage on abilities from Nobori, so you're, like, missing on, out on that. Uh, so, I mean, like, yeah, you don't need more damage, but it's definitely not bad to kill someone in three seconds instead of five. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it is more efficient to build items that, like, scale together. But when you're looking at like the how tanky is your champion total, right? You're pretty fucking squishy if you don't go anything defensive. Yeah. And he probably figures the only way you lose a fight is getting is banged. Gets reset it. Yeah. Yeah. Because the enemy team's like that. You don't need much damage to kill everyone. You just need to not get killed by like a Nico, Nautilus, Jax, Viego. Just one dig in your ass. <laughs> one dig. <laughs> Me just loves that. Me just, I don't even know how you know about one Deacon because I thought you didn't play CS. Huh? <laughs> What's that to do with CS? <laughs> what? Computer science is a pretty good degree. You know, TL is actually one dragon away from completely evening up the game. I'm worried for a 3 0. Really? 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 Uh, really? Really? Like, GG is just like one more giga throw away from losing. If they get Baron, then siege with Baron, then somebody randomly gets caught a minute before drag, it's just like... Okay, let's just try 4v5 at Dragon Soul, get Ace Yolo there, get Baron, Soul, next. right in their face, let's fucking go. Oh my god! Wait, uh, how did that work? Had to. Like, oh my dude, god! Oh, oh, actually, oh, the GA! Oh, they got the, the GA. GA! Oh, the uh, GA's gonna save the game, boys! Uh, I mean, wait, yeah. Oh, he's out. Can you win? Can you win? Mad. Stay mad. No fucking way, dude. Stay mad. It's no fucking good. way. How is Teal winning? Our the Golden Guardians Here got away with Gory, the heist, bro. Who he's wrapping around. Someone could be in trouble. Oh, nice wait, jump. Nice jump. Nice jump. By Gory. Nice jump. Gory. Wait, Summit? Wait. Gory! He has the stun up again? I thought that shit had a cooldown. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Holy. Gory going fucking hero mode. What the fuck? Damn. Teal's actually looking good. If he more damage good. items, then Diego Ghost might have been stronger. It's so weird. Like, actually just winning fights from behind, like, every game.
Okay, so we, yeah, we're on Nautilus. I get it. I mean, AP has been having some really good. Yeah, AP uh, had a great one there. I think there's probably not a better mid pick than Nico against a two thread comp. Like that just completely owns GG's damage. I'm more confused about what happened at the other side, where like GG gets two kills, so they killed Nautilus and Nico like on the exit. Now it's a three v three. And who he's randomly flanking. Dude, look how Jax's Counter Strike has no cooldown, bro. It does not. Dude, it's not even close to being the max, too. He has no Shojin yet. It could be absolutely go stupid mode. He doesn't even have Navori either. Holy. Wait, Navori Jax. That does sound good. I mean, that was like. Remember the old Shojin when it had the Navori effect? You play Jax for Nakton and just. Do the dumbest shit ever. I thought it was something about your ulti. Yeah, like w when you ulted, you got that effect where your cooldowns would partially reset on autos. Oh, I so see. So on Renekton or Jax, you would ulti, and then you got like crazy cooldowns back, and you just like actually just perma stunning people. Yeah. What do you guys think about Drake on exit? Because Golden Guardians right now is saying, let's get Drake on exit. Uh, mm, it's, I think it's usually good, if you're good strong to enough. crash your lanes with Baron rather than taking a fight away from minions where your Baron buff doesn't help you as much. Really depends on the situation. Like, uh, if they have the window and ability to push, they should. Yeah. But yeah, I think if you're worried about them getting dragon, you can have like, I think you should always pressure the lanes. But uh, you can like have somebody go and do the dragon. But it, I mean, the dragon could also be free. Like they like reset, come out of base. Like I think you should take drag first over push. I don't know if it was up. Uh, before they did the I think you want to avoid a situation where you're like walking into their control. Yeah. At all costs. Yeah, if you push them out and then like you're threatening their base, like then you would stay with the pr the pressure yeah. instead of walk back to drag. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Gory oh. sold his GA? Unless no, they're... Dude, uh, wait, that's it. troll. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, like... I think he did it, like, when he tp back in after the Baron thing. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Which I might have just don't saved it. think it's good, but I think no, that's... No, no, that, that would that, be good for that, 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 that power. one fight. Yeah. For that one fight, that would be good. Yeah. But his J would literally be up right about now. What? Dude, uh, it's spectators having a fucking aneurysm with this Navori BT. It just switched places like seven times. That's not spec, that's him. He's swapping it. If, if you swap in your inventory, it changes. If the item is the same cost. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. I don't think he's sitting there switching his Navori BT. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. He, he was recalling and doing it. Oh, it was happening the whole time he was walking the lane. Have you ever watched? Yeah, Gory's he was probably stream? doing he it. He does that all the time. He was probably doing it. <laughs> Gory's known for switching his item spots in the middle of team fights, actually. <laughs> oh, another fatty. And Gory's dead. Wall. Gory's dead. Doesn't okay. matter. They didn't kill the actual. Where's Kyo Six? Kyo Six trying to get in. Oh, he gets the body. Can he jump out? He did. Oh, but I don't think it's gonna matter. He can't get enough done. He's a strong ass Trist. And he's out. APA's been hitting so many Nico alts. Go sick goes to grab the wave. They've got a top wave. AP's been aiming those Nico ults so well. Well, I do think that TL excels at this kind of comp though. They should keep it keep playing their strength. Damn. God damn. That was legit crazy. Dude, that was fucking crazy. Medios Arena? <laughs> I'm I'm in queue. You want in? I I'm logging in right now. Sneaky never wants to play. He's kind of scared. Uh, Sneaky, do you want to like uh, maybe like sit in the corner and watch? Yeah, dude. My dick out or <laughs> Whoa, what the f or oh, I'm, uh, yeah, my phone. I'm at my phone. Just in time for first wave crash. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Wait, Milio. Damage, damage, damage. Wait, Liquid's running some real different shit. Kindred Milio, legit the C9 comp. 
Uh oh. So the this matchup bot lane is, uh, is there, and of course, very hard. I'll tell you that much. And it there's a very hard. For who? Uh, for, for Golden Guardians. Ooh. Ash Milio is like one of the nastiest lane combos. But they nerfed Milio like twice in a row. They reduced the damage on Milio's like, uh, Asif twice in a row. So, people kind of dropped it. But Tim Liquid is like a specialty. It's their specialty. It's their secret weapon. Mm. The Tech Lash secret Ash weapon. <laughs> Trinity Force. Oh my god. He almost fucking died. What the fuck? He's just staying with Dorn's healing, I guess. Maybe a potion as well. I'll throw up a Gamba. It looks horrible for Gory. Actually, maybe. Looks alright now. Dorn's shield. Depends how much shit he gets hit by here. I mean, like, he can't really CS. It's awkward as fuck. Yep. Oh, nice dodge there. <laughs> Still can't get shit. I will never understand how he, like, I see that, then I look at the, I look at the CS, and he's, like, not even that behind. He's got none of these. Not a single one. I, I think I've seen him in one CS out of, like, ten. And he's only <laughs> I think, down I think five. part of it, too, is, like, APA doesn't have anywhere near perfect CS. He's 17 out of the, like, 25. 27 total. Yeah. There it is. There's the Silas. From one HP total. to making the other guy one. Yeah. Uh oh, that's also not really what TL would want to happen early game either. They what they wanted to do with Ash Milio is they wanted to build a super wave, have them chunked, have Kindred come down for a dive like on wave three or four. What ended up happening is like Kindred did a weird thing where she like went into the enemy jungle to spot out like for that dive, and then I don't know what happened. He just kind of like left. He ends up with Crab, but it's like that's not the snowball that you want to happen with Ash. Because I think later in the game, Ash is very weak. Like, she's a lane bully, and that's where it all has to start. Also, Summit's playing Orin, bro. That is weird as fuck. Not the Summit champ. Here it comes. Oh, never mind. They're not going to keep going. The walk at them, Strat. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, good play by Licorice. Very good play by Licorice. Wait, oh, Licorice, wait. Or River gonna flash in to start the off. I don't think there's any oh way. Oh my wait, what god. Is wow. What is he doing to this cause? It was a lot shit. of fucking wow. damage. He almost crushed that bug. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so bad for for uh, Golden Guardians. They lose drag. They might lose this mark. All they get is like a kill, but it costs them every resource. Will he get the mark? Probably not. Yeah, I guess he won't, but I'd be happy with that if I was, you know, Orange just TP'd back top anyways. He barely lost the thing. Oh, that's a star walking. Does he have the damage to finish, though? Maybe. Looks like he will. Oh, he does. If he does, he does. this, he's a god. Oh, wow. Bye-bye. But Licorice is actually too sick at Cassante. God okay. damn. Okay. I, I like Licorice's Cassante. As a Cassante really expert, I give him the pass. <laughs> the Cassante pasta was like exploding for a little bit in popularity. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a funny meme. No, but you, you know what's interesting about that one is like, I don't know if it's still the case, but at the time when that was made, Showmaker hasn't, he played like zero Cassante games. So it's kind of just him being a scrub, right? Rather than like, yeah, like him, OP him stuff, being like whiny him, like, about, it. about it. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like me and Sneaky talked about it, but like I'm not a like I'm actually a big fan of Cassante, even if he's kind of OP. Oh, because he's like he's hard to play. Like, oh, there's a lot of shit you cannot play on him. Gory has Kindred. That is the fattest wave. Oh Holy shit! They somehow oh. you don't get anything. I mean, that's played. not a kill. Surely he doesn't have the damage. Gory thought he was a little more fed than he was. Cassante is a cool champ. What's your opinion on him, Double F? I think he has, like, some stuff that people... You guys know about, like, the... E flash W... Like, you, like, press every button at once, and then you Q3. So you, like, abduct somebody from, like, a, like 800 range away. 
People started oh, yeah, doing where you that. Like flash E W Q and then R. Yes, exactly. I mean, that sounds like every button, so it sounds like a meme, but it's actually flash. It's flash E W Q and then you ult them back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that kind of stuff feels a bit unfair to me. That you have to play around that as a as a carry. Yeah, I mean, it is, not, it is not realistically charge. reactable. Like, you actually do get micro uh -oh. by the W. Yeah. It's not, it's oh, not actually... Wow. Wait, he, no I think he could have went in and killed Summit there. I, I didn't realize Chris, it wasn't 6. Oh, wow, what the fuck? I thought he was 6 as well. Would have been worth it. I mean, I don't know. He may have been able to TB1 them. Overall, though, I do think he's, like, fine. Because there's a lot of skill in playing him. It's just that specific one... It's something that is, it's like, close to impossible to play around. You basically just have to never step into the range of that combo if Cassante has Q3 and flash up. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. Q3 loaded is absolutely terrifying. The, 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 How the often OP does that of... happen? Like, I feel like I haven't seen that combo specifically, like, in a game where someone's, like, just getting caught by that. Usually people are just caught by, like, a naked Q3. Because that is legit every ability by Cassante if he's doing that combo. And then, like, if yeah. you if you are at full HP and then you don't even have your E up afterwards, like, you can just get one shot. That's true, that's true. I guess it is a true all-in. Like, it's like a all-or-nothing play. It's fitting for him, but... I, yeah. I, I I don't know. Is it is it common? It's something that I'm always thinking about when I play against him, and it's taking it's like a lot on your mental stack because like if they're good, they will do it to you. So you have to think about it. So should he do it to Piosic right now? <laughs> yeah, that. Oh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he missed a Q. He missed a Q. Uh oh. He missed another Q. He did. He did. Oh, if he yeah, 4700 so HP. Dude, what yeah, the like, fuck? That, that was kind of obvious that would happen. Wow, he stays to the wave. What a Chad. He is. I'm gonna say that TL's bot lane resources. has completely failed their win condition. Completely and utterly failed. If you are not like massively ahead in lane with Ash Milio, uh, you're actually massively behind. Like that's how shit those champs are. Look at the enemy champs, by the way. Where is the Milio ult value? There is absolutely none. Like, he's not going to ult anything useful with Milio. This yeah, I think Silas Ash hero. I think there's yeah. definitely some to be said about, like, what's happening top here, though, because, like... Oh, Licorice is fisting. Even yeah, if fisting. Licorice... Like, Piosic doesn't have to come up here. I think if you have something like an Ash lane, you really need to play for dragons. Like, by, he by do going for this play, regardless if it works or not, you're giving up dragon pretty much, because... Like, this whole time, Kha'Zix is sitting bottom side, they're getting full vision control. And now TL's bot lane, like, can't really do anything too aggressive. Yeah. Licorice is legit going fucking sicko this game. Yeah. Yeah. He is making the ganks work for his team and making the enemies jungle, uh, yeah, waste his time. It's, like, very, very good. I mean, like, we see so many bad Cassantes that... I think it's like cool when you see the good ones. Yeah, that's true. He kind of has an infinite skill cap because of the nature of like the Q3. Yeah, I mean, I, I compare him a lot to Zoe, where like it's a really annoying champ when you play against a good one. But like, if you if you try to just play him first time, him like you're gonna be so goddamn useless. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm excited for this juicy Trinity Force to do zero damage the whole game. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe when Ash came out, I was building, uh, I was building Static Shiv on her too. That was disgusting. Oh. Uh oh. When she came out? Or sorry, when Ash, <laughs> yeah, when she came out. No, when she, uh, <laughs> became popular. <laughs> when Ash came out, people were building, uh, Philosopher's Stone on her. Ooh. <laughs> Oh! But does he get more? Oh! Does he get more? Yay! Oh my God! Holy shit! Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Oh Leandri is Ari. He doo dooed on them. He really did. I like Leandri's Ari. This game seems like kind of a weird one to do it though. 
all their opponents are pretty squishy. I'm embarrassed to say that a couple of weeks ago, I learned that Leandris increases your damage to high health targets. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it just gave a burn, which is why it's good against tanks. Mm. Like a percentage health thing. Didn't realize it was... Uh... Yeah, it's it's weird too, because it's not like Lord Dom, where they don't have to have more health than you. It's just like bonus health in yeah. general. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like you really ever buy it though, right? Andrews? No, AD carries would not. And, and like, when you do buy it, it's very obviously good, like, because they have a shit ton of tanks, so I'm not going to be, like, reading the fucking... <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have read the items when they changed them all, but, yeah, you items. know, yeah. whatever. It's, lot, it's like some nerd shit. <laughs> I mean, reading tooltips is honestly, like, some of the nerdiest shit you can do. That's true. Oh, big Warren ulti. Gets out. Big Ornolds all around. Another Ornold. Okay. Oh shit. Kindred insta banged. Uh oh. Oh. That's not great. Is, still has uh, ult, right? Oh. He's Holy saving fuck. it. They are getting oh it my down. god. Ari is doing so much fucking work here. We scale up, guys. Like, Golden Guardians is like. They got wiped the last fight, but they're actually in a pretty good spot. They have Herald, so that's like another tool that the enemy team has to play around. I think like one thing that teams in LCS like kind of got the hang of is you can't get into a split map situation against Herald because obviously the team with Herald will outrace you every time. So just having the Herald, not even using it, but just having it makes the enemy team really predictable. Essentially any time that you go to your strong side, they have to follow you. If they don't follow you, you will take two turrets. So it gives you a lot of information. Yep. I would hate to play against Kindred in pro games. If I, I was a against Kindred in any games. I think in solo queue it's specifically bad. But like, yeah, okay, you're right. It's just bad. It's just bad. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's so fucking annoying that at 3.30, the game just coin flips whether she gets a free mark or not. Why is that in the game? Like, why is that a thing? I don't know. You just, like, can full clear, and then you end up on the wrong side for the mark. Why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just one of those dumb, like, things Riot's stubborn on for no reason. Yeah. Like, I think Riot probably knows champ would be way more balanced without that. Yeah. But they're just, like... No, nah, we can't have the players be right about something. They don't know what they're talking about. It's good. <laughs> thematic. I think if she comes mad enough, people will definitely complain. I, I don't think like any pro players who play against Kindred are like having a good time. Some I think in a lot of these top matchups, like the first gank can set the pace so much for how the lane goes. Just snowball yeah. out of control. Yeah. Like if you play top lane and you're in some volatile ass matchup and you get ganked. It's just like fucking FF. That's a good point. That's exactly what happened this game. Licorice got set up once early, then he got a solo kill, then he he was just tanky enough to fend off a gank from the enemy jeweler. So it's like one good thing snowballed into two other good things that was completely solo by him after he got set up. What's going on here? Wow. Wow, they might kill him here. Oh yeah, my god, totally he is Kassanti, guys. He's not even gonna walk out. <laughs> okay. My bad, my bad. Dude, this is getting scary. I also don't like Stick Stays Wait, they're game. just hitting Baron? The one -shot build. There's no way they hit Baron. Their damage is ass. Mm, I think they feel advantage enough because they blew... Uh, it's so slow. But, but it's so will do slow. The thing. Kyosik will do the thing where he ults trying to bait River Smite, so they'll get it low and then he'll that, ulti. That shit is so like. And it's gone. Oh my god, you didn't do it. Though. And it's it. gone. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was a nice play. Oh wait, Six is getting fucked in the dick hole. APA's going. Giga. Wait, yeah, oh, what? 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 <laughs> oh no. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. He he saw the play. He saw the play. He saw the play. Like I have to respect it. Uh, yeah. yeah, he really saw something. <laughs> Wait, now I want to go back and watch my series with your guys' commentary and see how much you're shit-talking. 
your, your series is boring. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty boring to play. I like, the most recent one. Ever, your team was like, your, yeah, every game you guys played was so boring. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, like there's not a single action pack game. <laughs> yeah. Just like, you guys are losing? Well, I uh, see you at 26 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just very low fighting. Wasn't even much to say about it. Okay. That does make sense. <laughs> Bro, but that, that he on Flash. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. Bro th yeah, forgot he had a Trinity. There. Like, how is that good? <laughs> Wait, 6 is dead. Say okay. Oh, the long con. Yon enabled this. Nice. I mean, this is a straight 50 50, right? But it's actually <clears throat> more advantaged for TL. I, I don't even, yeah, I don't think it's 50 50. It, no, dude, because Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix Kha Kha is so broken at stealing. Oh, okay. Wait. This is even that good, is it? I guess the du the dust blade. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking for GG, but they got out. They just walked out of there. I I think TL made like what they wanted. Oh wait, to do Rakan sense. had smite as well. Oh, he has spellbook smite. What the fuck? Hmm. Wow, I've never seen a spellbook Rakan in a very long time. That's a good catch. I was actually questioning why Chat the fuck did Rakan W into the pit. I was a little confused how they got it without Kha'Zix even needing to Q, because it kind of died from like two point something there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was a beautiful change. Oh. Uh, it doesn't kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, AP. Yo, oh. hold on, that, you pussy. Go, go, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not going to take that? <laughs> Double if ult's in there every time and kills him. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that he wouldn't, but. He's a pussy. He's pussy. I also just don't really understand this build oh. on Kaisa this game. Like, yeah, there's an Orn. That has never stopped anyone from building Ludens before. I think this game of all games makes Ludens makes the most sense. Like, they're literally four base health champs. Mm. Damn, Golden Guardians is very good at like just getting ahead early. The games aren't clean, but they do get ahead. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, we wow. Yon stopped him. Okay. I, I like this. That's really good punish by Golden Guardians. They recognize TL's like seven, sitting everyone top for whatever reason. Maybe trying to get a trap. Yep. Golden Guardians instantly punishes Yon step too far up. That's exactly what... Uh, we are talking about yesterday about keeping them honest. Like, you just assume that they're gonna all be there, right? But like, a good team will make sure, and then if they're not, they'll punish it. Yeah, and I mean, the Golden Guardian kind of checked the boxes there too. It was like, you see Ari and Orn together top, which is like, not a normal play. So they started walking in the top jungle to rat behind him, but then they saw Kindred and Emilio covering, so they had vision on everyone, and they say, wait, like, they don't have anyone covering mid. Just dive this idiot. Yep. Yeah. I think Cloud9 is probably the first team that was consistently doing that play, where they're diving mid. Because, like, usually you, you talk about pushing mid and diving side. You don't really talk too much about pushing mid and then diving mid. That's just, mm -hmm. like, not a bit, bit off script, but C9 is very good at doing that. Golden Guardians started doing it as well. Yeah, I mean, I know that used to be a thing a lot before like even when i was on c9 we oh if we ever had like a one one person advantage and a wave is crashing the tower we would just dive it because like as long as somebody's tanky enough to tank the turret like it doesn't actually matter that there's a tower there towers are fake the fakest defense as long as you don't troll it and let it start shooting your carry while it's ramped up or something yeah, as long as you don't have Sivir W on when you're going for the end. That actually happened recently. I don't remember which game I was watching. Woo! It's very long ago, yeah. 
This gives time for Kuki to res, get back onto the map, and Lickrish get some time. Oh, APA might get caught here. It's a weird angle to take. Oh my god. Oh. He just doesn't, he's not, he's not thinking about that angle. Like, it's so common though. You just sit there. Oh. Oh, one shot. Okay. He doesn't Almost need Ludens. You one shot no matter what on Kaisa. True. Yeah, that's actually true. That's actually true. It's like, it's, it's such a small min max either way. It's like, you know, in that case, he had isolated Q and isolated Q damage with the evolve is like pretty much just as much damage as the Ludens pop and the M pen, so. Uh, but they do get a bounty here, and they get the blue bounty too. That's crazy. This one's worth a lot. Okay. Guys, why did no one tell me what the fuck that was? Like, I was asking the question, and then I had a theory, and then you guys made me sound like an idiot. Because <laughs> I hadn't thought about it very much. Why were there two different colored bags? And then we found out, oh, it's uh, different teams. Interesting. Yep. Just give us game five already, man. Dude, this is a perfect it's Jover moment. <laughs> you sounded like a. Oh my! What? <laughs> you sounded like a fucking grandpa trying to fit in with the memes. No, this is the perfect Dude. Jover moment. Is this where I say Jover? <laughs> Oh, what's that meme with President Joseph Biden? We could use that one here. <laughs> I think that would be appropriate. <laughs> oh, we could put, post a funny picture of his head slightly down. <laughs> Dude, it's Jover for real, for real. Oh my god. A lot of fucking shields. Wait, Why did he like a massive thrush lantern? Did he steal fucking Milio old? Silas? <laughs> okay. Oh, huh, GG struggling to break the base. It's kinda awkward when you're like all melee with a Kaisa. Yo, drag drag's soul for the enemy team is up and Baron's up. This is super awkward if you GG, because you don't want to trade. You don't want to give soul to get Baron. Okay. Now TL's just saying like fuck it, let's go. This is bad though. I think TL can't stop this, right? They're just gonna walk into TP play? It's not dying quick. Gory has a fat flank. Gory has a fat one. Yo, he has a fat no one. He's got no flash! Oh! Big charm from APA to save the day, at least Tim. Oh, diving on 6A walking. and that's he's TV. gone. That's a star walk and that's gonna be game five right there. G -G -G. All right, now type Jover. Just, just type Jover. Just type Jover. Type, type the, jo Jover. the Joseph Jover. Biden Jover. meme with the... Uh... <laughs> It's Jover. Holy fuck, Silver Scrapes. Dio woke up this morning and he told Lena, this is already Jover. <laughs> <laughs> I only found out about Jover today. <laughs> really? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm not I don't know. I thought it was just like a stupid way of saying over. I didn't know it had anything to do with Biden. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Jover I mean, moment. Wasn't that like a, a Trump thing like during the elections saying it was Jover? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. I had no idea, bro. That's actually pretty funny. If if they pick Ezreal Braum and they don't split map level 1 invade the enemy jungle, they are probably giga griefing. That that's a that's so a prerequisite to playing Ezreal Braum. You're like, man, this lane sucks balls, guys. Like, I think the only way I can survive early game is if we like uh, give me all the resources and split map level one. But then your top laner is like, like you hear a fucking drawn out sigh when you're talking about it. <laughs> like, maybe like I could come cover top after, and they're like, yeah, it's fine, and then like they just go zero twenty during the game. And the coach is like, well, yeah. what, what what happened here? He's like, just I don't know, like. I just couldn't play. Yeah. I mean, I just, their jungler was always top, and like, we're split mapping, so I hope, like, Bot can carry. Who he's on that new tech, like, if you asked me if, if Spellbook on support was, was, like, good two weeks ago, I'd be like, probably not, because the other runes are OP, but he's just sending it. But now that he's done it, and he's a pro player, and he has and, won and, and with he it. And he stole, and he helped he steal won. Baron. Keep in mind, a, this is a big one. He the won. winner loss matters here. 
Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Because if he flashed over that wall, a genius. If, if he didn't get the smite still right, like if for somehow like Piosic got the Baron, then, then it's just complete dog shit. Like spellbook's not viable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But of course. I'm glad you. We have like such an objective metric. Figure out how good things are. I I like to decide if something is good or bad based on like, after the game. Just to make sure. Yeah. I mean, hindsight like, is the best site. Looking at like tooltips or like stat sites or like mathing anything when you can just like see what a Korean pro won with. Do that. So much easier. Nah, but like the whole thing about like ruler did it is it, it, like that one's like real though. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it, it, is, it is real. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same way how if Canyon does something, that's real. Or even, you know, the spellbook Huhi. Also very real. Yep. Alright, can we stop just making stuff up? Like, <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's it, totally it, I feel not like it's cool disrespectful to, to the viewers. Like, they, they look up to us and they expect the truth and we're just constantly lying, for lack of a better word. I mean, as long as you make it sound not believable, you're good. Oh. 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 They engage on the gory, they don't get him, but oh. then the... Another... Thick fucking oh Nico. my APA god! is doing the fattest ults all day. What was the thing that caught Gory there? Like after he flashed Rel? Nico. He couldn't flash? Or, or did he flash initially? Uh, he flashed out of Rel. Where the fuck was his W? Like how did he get caught? Maybe he died with W up because he didn't react to Nico in time. Oh. oh, are they gonna? Are, are they looking into that rel thing? I, I don't know if Core knows what that is. If he W's into a wall, it cancels the W prematurely. So I don't, maybe that's something else. Something else they pause for, but it's pretty something premature. Oh yeah. Oh, my chat says he TP upgraded to unleash TP, and then it got stuck. So uh, they couldn't switch it back afterwards. Okay. Wow, that is such a specific bug. You have to go unsealed spellbook and TP in the in the one second window that, Wait, that so the TP's swap. Did he try the TP after it got changed, unleashed? It swapped while he was channeling? Oh, there you go. Pants grab? What the fuck is going on? That one feels like something that you could kind of do intentionally. Like, yeah. I don't think he would, obviously, but... If there was, you definitely could, if yeah. you were trying to be nefarious and force a game-breaking bug, yeah, not for sure, <laughs> for sure, it's possible. Even by us saying that, I swear to God, we're painting Huhi in such a bad light. There's basically a zero percent chance that he he did it like that. It's just funny because I always thinking about like, man, th this shit is like so easily abusable. Like, yeah, not, not that like doing that is gonna like win you the series against a better team or anything, but it's just like interesting the way that the rules are set up. Yeah. Oh, I just. Yeah, I noticed he waited a couple seconds after spawning before starting the teleport. <laughs> they just put him in an interrogation room and start asking him questions. Was there a reason <clears throat> that you didn't teleport immediately? You waited three seconds. And we're back. And they has unsealed spellbook yet again. And they are probably telling him if you fucking TP at exactly 10 minutes, then that's on you. I mean, it's hard to say because, like, there's some things as a jungler that, like, you want to be able to do because it's good for the game, even if it's not, like, necessarily good for your own uh -oh. personal Wait. situation. Uh -oh. Or you can just die here. Rel's E is, like, crazy move speed towards champs. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ew. Is he, like, intentionally uh, doing the wall thing permanently on no, accident? I, I, <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I actually think that Gore is, like, just playing bad on Rel. It's weird. <laughs> I feel like he's bumped that the wall like a weird. billion times. Yeah. Diablo yeah, 4 horse. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it's funny. Diablo 4 horse was completely unrelated to this game. But I was like so excited to get the mount. Like, this is going to be so sick. Finally, I get a mount and I, I get it. And it's just the most disappointing thing ever. <laughs> Dude, like, the skeletons just set up fucking walls everywhere for no reason. 
<laughs> have, to, have to dismount. Why is there such a long cooldown before mounting up again? I don't know. <laughs> I'd understand if like, I had, you get knocked I had, off like, your so horse. I had so many but... questions. Like, why you can't gallop in town? Well, I mean, that, that kind of makes sense. Like, are you really going to be galloping in town? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a hazard. There's people around. Yeah. I like role-playing as well. <laughs> why is everything so spread in town? Immersion, bro. I'll show you something spreading down. <laughs> Immersion, <laughs> role-playing. Oh, wait, no, yeah, the, the the spreading thing got old fast. That was one of the things that was... Why do I have four fucking stash tabs? I mean, they buffed it. It's five now. Oh, huge, man, huge. Actually, I did hear a reason for that, even though... Yeah, it's troll as fuck. It's so dumb. That was the funniest shit I've heard. Yeah. How did, how did they design the game like that? I, it had to have been an accident. Or it's just one of those uh, <clears throat> leftovers from like the developers from initially making the game, and they just yeah. they left it as a little twist when they leave. Ooh, let's let's tie every time you see another player, you uh, load everything they have, they own. <laughs> When you see a game that has like all these like mind-blowingly bad uh, things in it like that, I, I just, it just makes me appreciate when like the games that do get it right like do a good job. Yep. Like, Poe does a bunch of stuff wrong, but they do a lot of stuff right. And I think like League, I know like people like get fucking annoyed as shit about, about League, but like League actually is a good game. It's just the community that makes it horrendous. You can't really control that. Like, but the game itself is good. Yeah. No, guys, just think about it. Like, if you if you kill up solo queue and everyone is trying and no one's griefing or tilting or raging and spam pinging or like uh, you know like they get ganked so then they just start like running it down and not caring about the game. Like, that's actually the game, game would be very fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's like eight games out of ten. So. But like, you know, I think it's a pretty like common screaming. sentiment these days because that's how it is. Yeah. Oh my God, TP Brom, he's done it. Uh oh. Oh, he did it early. Holy shit. Wait, why did he do it so early? <laughs> why did someone Bro, oh, come on. so early? Oh, this is, I think, I think, oh, wait. not a good engage by AP. Actually, this is a high risk play by Golden Guardians because now they actually have to win this fight. Like, they don't have the luxury of falling back on a remake. <laughs> a. Wow, that was a 4v5 by Golden Guardians. They, Sticks A stayed bots. Totally not worth it at all because his team couldn't fight the heralds. Why did he go bot? I, I I don't understand. Why did he go bot? He was he was about to be at the same time as. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. I don't even think he would have been there in time. Okay, so. Yeah, I I changed my statement. I think him going bot is fine since the herald was dead before either bot lane could even influence it. Yeah, I mean, the question there would just be why is the rest of his team going up if they made the decision for Ezreal to not come? Because the Herald is a 50 50 before TL and Golden Guardian spot lane can like, in be a factor at all. Um, and that's what happens. Even though, like, Yon and Core showed up at the very, very end, they're not even in range to, like, influence the smite fight. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird it, it's, situation. A, it's enough to prevent Golden Guardians from fighting them, though. Yeah, like yeah, if they didn't true. come, then maybe Golden Guardians could have taken a fight and won it. Yeah, that's true. Also, Yon is going uh, Kraken Slayer, which means he's going AD Kaiser this game because he has double AP top top and mid. I'm personally not the biggest fan of that. Uh, even though it makes sense, you're like, ooh, the damage spread, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Very different experience getting ulted on by an AD Kai'Sa versus Lictor an AD. has played every Cassante matchup in the game at this point. <laughs> he really has. <laughs> the only one like, he... nope, this shit didn't work. He's too powerful. On to the next. <laughs> well, it was literally Fiora, Jax, Gwen, like, legit all considered good matchups. Yeah, Fiora, Jax, Gwen, Horn. See, like, that Herald doesn't feel that good. Not at all. 
They got one plate and it got split between jungle and mid. So that was a shitty herald. Oh, oh. abduction time? Uh, Holy moly. Uh. Trist is TPing your group. Is Gwen looking to TP the group as well? So early in the game and no ulti. Why would you TP here? You're completely useless. Uh, okay, he's going to do it anyways. A no ulti Gwen. Is... Okay, I, yeah, he bought his team some space. He bought his team some yeah, space. Yeah, it's kind of the same concept. I guess that's just how TL's approaching these things. Hmm. Yeah. Just bring number advantage so that the other team can't fight you. You rush the objective. Yeah. The weirdest part about that whole thing is, like, Licorice had no angle to TP. I think he was sitting in base, like, looking at it, and he... Like, where is he supposed to TP? His team I mean, is... And no ulti Cassante is about as useless as you can be in a team fight. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> the punish there is, is quite big. Like, uh, Licorice got three plates, maybe three, maybe three. Yep, three plates, and Summit TP'd and flashed. That is some cash. So, yeah, it's very, very big. Wow, Sunfire Rush against Gwen. That is weird. I don't know anything about top lane, so... What is this man cooking? More than me. <laughs> I cannot imagine that's the right call. Sunfire would be better if he's planning on, like, fighting jungle camps or proxying the wave. But I don't know if he's really going to be doing that. No, and this is another situation where Teal has TP advantage. They're using it like this, so they have numbers advantage on the objective. So the best they can get is 50-50, and they don't even get it. Oh my god, Yon got sniped there. Ooh, Golden Guardian's going to fight this one. Core's getting Core bumped. Wow, getting a bit dead. Core is getting fucked. He's actually okay. What about Ooh, the... Another big oh! Nico ult, Another big one. He's oh literally making god. every Nico ult look easy. Oh my god. Good stopwatch. Wow. Is it enough, though? Wow, he's barely not. Yeah, oh, it's my oh, my god. God. oh, my God. Wait, Wait that was sick. Wait. Holy. Okay. Wow, that was fucking close. That was Wait, nice. is Yon going to go the greedy route? Ooh. Holy. Oh, oh. oh my. Wait, he lived. Fuck. He, he had summoner heal. Holy shit. Yeah. Bro, that Six was got smoked. <laughs> yeah, he actually got smoked. <laughs> Dude, Yon is the ego player of Doom. <laughs> that was such a crazy path to take when you don't know where Braum is, but he dodged the Braum cube blind and then killed him 1v2. Yeah. That was wild. Oh, he actually kind of got isolated from this fight for a while. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Triss ran at him. Yeah. That was such a value stopwatch, like that fucking rune just totally changed everything here. Yeah. And then Gory fucked up pretty badly, but... Oh, he's flash. Yeah. I mean, this one's crazy, because if you play it from Yon's vision, he can't see Braum until... I mean... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, even if you get hit by the Q, isn't it the same result? Oh. Maybe, yeah. It's not like it's going to stun you instantly. That's a good point. He's in Ooh. 6 A's head with that one. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, he's going AD build. Kaisa does so much damage. First AD Kaisa the series. Yeah. I was saying I, I, I don't really think it's better, regardless of the damage spread, having like single AD, triple AP. Mm -hmm. But, you know. It could, easily, it could work, it could work. Probably better. Like, going AD, smacking people who have Murtreads is so efficient. I mean, it depends how you're fighting. If you can actually auto, then AD is a shitload of damage, but... Yeah, if you're getting that's actually fights, the biggest thing. You like, just can't. Like, the, how much percentage better do you think AD to AP Kaisa is? Like, yeah, AD Kaisa does 20% more damage than normal, but, like, the difference between the two builds is so unbelievable that... You know, you don't get the W spam before the fight starts, you don't get the one-shot damage if somebody does get CC'd to, like, actually just kill them in one, the blink of an eye. Uh, so I think the difference is, like, not just, like, 20%, it's... it's like, there's, like, two different champs, almost. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So, I, I get it though. Like I've done it and I've justified it in my head. So it many pings, dude. Did you see that? I think if I was Golden Guardians, uh, two threat comp, the spikes on those two threats matters so much. As well as way we weaker than than Kaisa, so I would wait for Triss two items and then fight. Okay, so he has it now, and. There's no real objective coming up, so it doesn't actually matter. But if they can get a fight, probably the best time right now, because there's one item difference mid, but there's also one item difference AD carry. So, don't know if it's going to get any better for you now. I think you just send it, dude. Sedge Braum, just make a volatile fight happen and, like. Yo, double, if someone asked, um, why don't people pick Lucian into Kaisa? And I'm curious, too, because I remember that used to be really good matchup. Uh. That's awkward. Bro, Gory's Gory's Triss is actually just huge mistake there by Gory. I'm not quite sure why he did that. It's like actually ban worthy. <laughs> that good? Yeah. Do not let him get it. His own team. Golden Guardians needs to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. APA all chatted that for sure. I I also heard the all chat sound. Um. Sorry, well, well, why don't people play Lucian into it? It's not even really a good matchup. No? Not really, no. It used to be really good, though. Mm, and then, like, Kaisa with Halo Blades just, like, fucking slaps your ass. It's it's probably good. Like, Lucian wins a lot of matchups early, but... You, know, you get Kraken Slayer on Lucian, then that dude gets Static Shiv, and then all of the interaction goes away. Oop. You are no longer fighting him. You are fighting minions. You said Lucian versus <laughs> Kaisa, or Kaisa. yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Like, yeah, if you're perma dashing on his head, like every matchup is good. But uh oh, the sneak. Sneak. Oh, yeah. they saw it. They saw it. Sneaky, but... Is it just dead? I think it's just dead. dead. It's just gone. It's looking dead. Just finish it. Oh, poor dies for it. Or maybe not. Uh, I think you just... Yeah, you just have to take the Constellation Drag and mid turret. It's not that bad. This isn't even cope. If you get a kill, and a turret, and, and Drake, it's... Wait. Who is that? Summit. Summit. Okay. And APA. Wow, nice job, oh. finally. Holy fuck. We hit one. Oh. Both TPs used to lay troll. <laughs> Dude, Gory almost freaked me out again because he was like jumping in when Nico was ulting, but he managed to buffer it. That was a good one. Yeah. No, I mean, this is not that bad. <coughs> Golden Guardians lost Baron, but really, I wouldn't be happy if I was TL. In theory, this game is Jover. For who? Teal wins. Because they outscale? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. I think the only person who can fight them back is Gory, but he's playing so bad. Or if Licorice just gets some crazy shit. He could, he could. Cassante's not a true tank. Nah, well, just the stalling of the fight. Like, Cassante, if he gets on your AD carry, can actually just kill him. Yeah. He gets some Same gross way, angle yeah. on Kaisa. Yeah. APA can kill you. gets fucking stopped on his engage. Just like Teal, just keep getting like their perfect fights. Kaisa int in five minutes? What? It's coming? Uh oh. Well, he went PD. He needs another attack speed item to upgrade his E. Every second that they're breathing, though, I think Gwen and Kaisa are outscaling their counterparts, and obviously, like you, you have to like think about how that compares to Triss by herself. But yeah, I mean, my opinion has always been the later the game, the team with more threats is like advantaged because tanks are eventually made out of paper, anyways. So they're not even tanky. Yeah, I, I think the question in this game is just like. How much of a threat's Nico gonna be late game? Cause she's not a crazy scaling champ either. No, no, no. She's all she needs to do though is just do her job, you know. 
create some chaos, get some get uh, anyone caught. But you're right, she doesn't do much damage. Yeah, I would say Triss. Gonna outscale uh, Nico pretty hard. Wow, they're doing both at the same time? Fucking chats. <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> River's in a really good spot. It's like unexpected. Golden or... Guardians even sees this happening. Uh oh. Oh, he got oh, caught by dead. it anyways. He's fucking dead. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Gory in a side so lane. so bad for Golden Guardians. You don't want to see him in the side lane. Gory's just playing so bad. Uh, I wonder oh. how much Tristana they prepped for this. Maybe they just expected it was going to be banned. Oh. Okay. That's not even that insane of an engage. Oh, but River is far as fuck. I mean, 6A is going to fucking die. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. Fucks. Okay. That. Yeah, uh, they shouldn't be able to end here. That's barren. That's barren. No, I mean, they don't end, but that's a. R River, River is absolutely. Real big fight. Oh, well, River is getting Krugs. Now a total loss. He steals these. <laughs> oh. No, he doesn't steal these. Triss is TPing in. Yo, do not Astro int this. Do oh, it. Oh, no. Do it. Go in. Go in. Go in. Oh, no. Yo, what if there's one person straggling the recall, man? Surely you go check it blind. To catch the straggler. It's actually a TL win. That, that would have been a good play, actually. Uh, what you said. You just queue in at exactly like three and a half yeah, seconds. Yeah, but that's like that's like a desperate ass play because there's a good chance they're either all recalling together or they haven't recalled yet, and you just fucking hint. Yeah, it's a yolo play, but <laughs> like that that is a tilted play. I feel like nobody makes that play unless they're tilted. Wait, that Q hit core. Yeah, that was a good one. Six eight time that super well. Oh. It was, like, it was like inside his character. What's Core doing? Done, What's Core doing? Second. Wait a second. Oh, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's a flash. 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 What? Oopsies. Bot lane? Why did no they give that to A thousand gold to the support, by the way. That's actually good for TL. Wow. Uh oh. Really, you let your carry catch up there. Like, uh oh. <laughs> Wait, this is the five minute Kaisa in? Hold up. <laughs> Wait a sec. That was five minutes. Somebody called that. Hold the fuck up. It's scripted. <sighs> the prophecy was foretold. Much, uh, yeah. A6 says he denied the gold from Gory, so it's good. Good point. Good point. <laughs> True. Don't want that guy getting it. Are they just going to wow, win? They actually have a bounty up here. What? The gold lead is 2k, and they have a bounty up. And Soul is three minutes. This is, like, good setup for GG, actually. Ba basically, they completely negated the enemy team's Baron. Caught up. Got Kaisa's Flash. Kaisa's Flash won't be up for the Baron fight, which is absolutely huge. Negative gold Baron play. Yeah. Hate to see it. The hell happened? But, but a lot of that negative gold went to... Oh, that was a nice camp. That was a sick. Why did Yon walk into it? What the fuck? That spot was so. What? So good. I haven't seen a lot of things in Lee. I've not seen people camp that spot. That's a genius spot. The wave won't yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, that was... I'm adding that to my playbook next next year. Like that. Yeah, is that was, that was so legit good. a good play. There's two things you check, right? You blue trinket the the bush on the right near the ramp, and you look at the wave. No one's there. You don't think anyone will be in that tiny little pocket. Gwen is actually just so unfair. Like, at this point, like, I would argue that Gwen is tankier than Cassante. Because she can survive in a fight, like, for so long compared to Cassante. Like, W Zonia's and the healing from her ulti, like, literally just gives her, like, more survivability than a full tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. It is something. She's a carry, though. Like, she's a late game champ with items. She should be strong. Yeah. That makes sense. That's why it's a great match. And if you're not, like, there, there's, I don't think there's any way to have a melee damage healer that's not tanky. Mm. Or otherwise, you know, how are you actually getting in and hitting anybody? I don't mind when sh stuff is like, has like crazy sustain like Aatrox, but I kind of do mind when stuff is untargetable. And oh, yeah, super I mean, un untargetable is cringe. And super sustainy. No flash yawn. Oh. Apia has a crazy flank. Oh. Another ulti. Wait, what? Oh, and Yon flies in. Oh my god, 6 He's surely dead. <gasps> he's, oh, wait, not oh, dead. he's not dead. Okay, there he goes. But, but oh like, my god. 
Oh like, my god. Yon's alive. like not doing damage. No, he will. He's, he will. he's just taking forever for them to die. Is that GG? Yeah. I think it's game, yeah. He's not gonna get that recall off. TP, oh, though. he TPs though. That that is smart. Okay. That is smart. I mean, they they can't end. They're not pushing. God, like the the problem in having a two threat comp is always that. It's like, when one of your threats can get blown up, you don't have damage afterwards. I, I don't know why they keep drafting like this. I never liked Sejuani Kais or Sejuani Kasante. Makes no sense to me. Yeah, they got TP'd on by APA here. I think was. Yeah. He's actually just found so many good ults this whole series. <laughs> wow, Gory played that about as well as he could have. He stopped watched the rel combo, flashed, like he dodged everything, but you can't have one guy doing all the damage. Legit felt like Tickle Kaisa, bro. <laughs> I mean, he was doing damage and just beating up tanks. He didn't burst as instantly. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, like, even if they have Maws, I I would rather play AP than AD at this point. Like, four items, right? Think about how much damage that would be if it was, like, Death Cap Ludens. It's just too much. Yeah. I was, like, in full-on cope mode when I was playing AD Kaisa, because I think Ruler played it once. Once again. Once again, Ruler did it first. Ruler did it, yeah. so it has to be good. I mean, but again, like we've mentioned, it's different when it's Ruler. It's not, <laughs> it is different. It's not it just right. anyone. It's, <laughs> you're right. It's, it's Ruler. ruler. Yeah. And he's the best right now. And did I mention that it was Ruler that did it? <laughs> he went serrated Dirk, Kraken Slayer. Holy. Yeah. Game over. Ocean Soul, and they already were struggling to kill people. Oh, there. I mean, you'll never kill, you'll never kill Gwen with Ocean Soul. Like this is a pure dude. They're getting circled like sharks. Get out! If you're uh, Ocean get out. Wait, fake. Gory? If you have Grievous, Gory? Oh no, no. Gory's fucking dead, bro. How did he die? Gory's fucking dead, kinda, bro. He jumped he into he jumped into Gwen. Dude, he just kind of astro sent it. Nerf Gwen, dude. What Nerf the Gwen. fuck? He's like pushing out the flank. By himself, doing zero damage. But, but, but if his teammates were on the same page with him there, I think it was a good play. Um, like if if Braum and Sedge and Cassante all jumped with him, like I think. I, I'm it like, been good. I mean, I don't even think they kill Gwen because he just walks away. Yeah. But he just did it solo, so he dies instead. It's like a game of low percentages for Golden Guardians. Ah, like, this shit's I, over. I, I get why he like thought about it in the moment. Like, it, you have a fucking. Virtually zero percent chance of winning the game, anyways. So you could punish that TP, but wow, that turret died fast. Oh my god! This we'll just never know. GG, GG, yeah. GG. I mean, he's spotting the sec though. Maybe not GG. Oh, I think it's uh. probably over. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Onto Braum, but it don't matter. Okay. No. Gory's in. Gory's in. Gory's out. There's no win? Oh, no, there are minions. GG. Holy. Wow. Damn. That's crazy. They all want their hug, dude. Because he just stands up. He's like, give me a hug. Oh my god, Summit's crying. Wait, he won. <laughs> Why is he crying? He's so sad, Ben. Now he doesn't get to destroy EU. Happy it was guy. so awkward speaking down on the losing team and just hearing them celebrating. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, that sucked. Well, TL locks worlds and Golden Guardians has to beat EU's fourth seed. That'll be hype. I mean, That's it kind of sucks. Free. Yeah, it's kind of free. <laughs> As always. So it's TL versus Energy. Yeah, and then the winner goes to finals. Yep. Wow, it's a rematch, TL versus Energy. Huh. All right, GG's, boys.
GGs. I got to meet a couple friends for dinner, so oh, I'm hey. gonna have to head out pretty soon here. Hey, same. I got I got a dip. That's a good. That's a good one, Medias. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys. All right, peace. Peace. GG. Later. Later.